Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome in. Thank you guys for stopping by so early as we are just getting started here. Tonight, we're going to be playing some Cosmeteer. I know, I know. It's a game you guys have been suggesting for quite some time. It's a game we've played on and off. And today, today we're looking to do things big. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing tonight? I see you guys in chat. Hello, hello there, Travis and MB Gamer and Jonathan Israel and Magic and Gabriel Diaz and Cat with the Yarn. There's so many people here, right? Okay. Hello! How are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> Hope you guys have had a great weekend so far. Let's go ahead and make it just a little bit better, shall we? Without further ado, jump into the game cam. Time for lasers. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a different option this time. I was... Uh, if the stream title isn't... Uh, it was multiplayer. If the stream title didn't give it away... Let's go middle of the road. Yeah. We can, uh, we can play with things here. I'm tempted to crank up the fame volume just so I can make things bigger. Project Dog Slaver does not sound like ion capacitors. You're correct, it does not sound like ion capacitors. Eh, we'll just try it. We haven't done this one yet, have we? I don't think we've done this one yet. Let's start with this one. It's the worst that could happen. <sighs> Alright. We have... More... In space. Oof. I didn't prepare my drink. Give me a second. There we go. Mm. Ah, sweet, tasty. If I were a furry, what animal would I be? <clears throat> I have a response to this. this this is this is my response to your question <clears throat> that that's the kind of furry I would be right there that's that's what you would see when looking at me solving problems one one at a time <laughs> <laughs> Head on over to the ship. <laughs> That's a fury, not a furry. Exactly. That's a man who understands. Do I even want to change this right now? Like, I'm always tempted. I've got the most meaty, the most mediocre amount of cash to start off in every new match because I don't have a preset. I don't have a preset starter ship that I want to use, but like, no, just, just go, just go, don't, just, just go. Oh, wait, 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 we do actually need to pick up the quests here. we got some quests to do. Let's go. Purge them in flame. Yes. Literally accept everything. No, except the delivery missions, because I'm not here to deliver things. How's my day been? It's been very good. Uh, actually, funny story. A few minutes ago, um, a few minutes, a few hours ago, I guess, is, is the more accurate sentence. Um, a few hours ago, I got a, a message from a friend saying that they were going to a restaurant near me in like 30 minutes. And I'm like, I have 30 minutes to finish my errands that, that put my grocery shopping and then go meet my friend at a restaurant and I managed to do it. I was surprised. Did not expect. Yeah. Usually 
Usually I need at least a couple hours of warding before, so I can shift things around. Hello there, John Jacob Smith. John Jacob of Jingle Armor Smith. Ooh, gold. All right, so we're just going to engage this. I don't think there's anything I particularly need to do here. Just focus the weapon first because I can for no other reason. Engage these. Might self destruct everything. We can do it. The uh, refire rate, the fire rate on this, not great. Having some serious people crew issues. Uh, what's my crew? Uh, it's at max crew capacity. Okay. Oh, it's burning to death. Okay. I was hoping to collect some of its gubbins, but. It looks like the, uh, they didn't have, a, they couldn't put the fire out, which is understandable. Yay, money. Collect all the things. Like, actually, just collect all the things, please. And then we go turn it in. I think the f I'm going to immediately hire more crew on this, do some minor adjustments. Your three favorite streamers are streaming at the same time. Oh, no. Just swap the uh, cockpit and reactor. Easy power supply. Let's check on that, shall we? I forget the, the hotkeys for these things. Okay. Uh, yes. That is easy fix. And door. Doors go in all fields. <clears throat> Alright. Um, definitely need more personage. Let me do this here, actually. Delete this. A little bit longer initially, but when things start rolling. Will it be a little bit longer? Not even really. Alright, and I can probably add an storage back here to, fix, to go with it. There we go. And then the crew. I need crew, which is something I purchased from here. Yeah, just top that off, please. All right, there we go. Um, more storage. I do want more weapon, but with weapons comes additional power requirements, and we're already peaking. Also, would need to do some adjustment on that. Uh, this should be fine as long as I can keep those two blasting cons constantly. Storage has no doors. I can fix that. Not that it particularly matters. Uh, actually, while I'm here, let me sell off all of the goodies. Sell everything. Give me all that sweet storage space. Um, I think we're going to keep the hypercoils, though. Hypercoils are something I'm going to need in great amounts very quickly. So let's go. If I may ask, Nixilis, are the other streamers persons I may recognize? Perhaps names I may know? Now I'm curious. You can buy people. You can buy resources. Human resources. The sound effects here remind you let us pass. The sound effects in this in this game are quite satisfying. Stop drifting away. Got it. 
You find large ships be the end game. Keep finding smaller, faster ships more. Well, we're on 8x, and this has happened. Uh, everyone is inside. Uh, but we did... Something exploded, causing mass fire. I think it was just a cannon round that went in. Oh, this is this is death. This is this is death. Like I can't. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna try that again. Once more. No fire there is a fire extinguisher, but one fire extinguisher does not stop fires. You need more than one fire extinguisher, which is kind of how that goes. Uh, that's also one of the reasons why I tend to not include fire extinguishers most of the time in my builds. It's just they aren't worth it most of the time because they don't stop fire. You need a huge amount of fire extinguishers and the people to run them. Which is just not something that you get most of the time. Um, that's just it's just not a thing. So quite difficult. Good. Good. It's Cosmeteer again? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Alright. That's all the monies we can we can spend right now. This should help us significantly. Alright. Next. How am I doing today? I'm doing very well. Went to a new Asian food place. It had quite a lot of, um... Quite a lot of, uh... Foods that I'm largely unfamiliar with. Alright, what are you? Not scary as what you are. Hey look, no power problems. Change the settings so it uh, auto pauses the game when the enemy appears. I would literally rather uninstall, and I not being facetious. Which is saying something because this game is quite the good. Yeah, gold. All right, hunt. It's faster than me. Stop being so fast. Oh, okay. Just a scratch, yes. Um, this is happening. Oh, I think it died. Perhaps burned to death. Uh, perhaps gunned down. That looks like it was probably gunned down by this other creature here. Kind of run out of the storage space here. I should go return. Uh, but this looks like it's about to have a bad day. Let's assist with that whole bad day process. There we go. Gone. Do, 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 do. 
as oh that's a processor you know what that means that means you sir need to eject Anything else here that we want? I mean, yes, but... Okay, let me... Micromanage this a little bit. Doesn't get out. Couple more hypercoils. Okay. Everything else should be steel and then just some hyperspace fuel. Okay. Keep pressing tab to bring up the map. That's not how that works. Next. You're going to go make some coffee or tea. Because you've been gaming for the past 13 hours. Need a break. Yeah, definitely, uh, you know, stand up. Get a break. Um, 13 hours is the kind of distance that you, uh, probably should, you know, take a sleep or something. I know it's a Saturday. For many of us, at least. It's time to sit back, relax, lay down, and recharge those batteries. We saw the 42 in Deep Rock for like 10 hours today. Deep Rock's a good game, though. All right, a uh, heavy laser and a disrupt. Well, I got one of them. Probably should have checked how much money I had before pressing that button. The answer is not much. Okay. All right, let's just sell the steel, basic, these. I'm going to keep hypercoils, processors, and enriched uranium. Another asteroid field. Hello. Any a creature. Hmm. Let's go. This way. There we go. Alright, that's this creature trying to escape out the sides. Understandable. Um, having some power problems. Um, that one disruptor is actually just shutting everything down. Um,. We are maxing our power. Okay, so I'm going to shut down the shield generator. And hopefully that's enough to power anything else. This creature is coming to get me. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what death looks like. I need this dead, and I need it dead right now. I need to go like this. Charge in. Come on, break it. One more shot, one more shot. All right. Immediately, I th we are. I, I noticed we were on fire. Um, that may be irrecoverable at this point. This cannon's gonna outrange us terribly. I need the fire to be extinguished. This is what bad looks like. Okay, that room is cleared. Alright, we're getting hit on the side due to this creature ramming us. Um, 
Can I get away from the creature? Kind of. I think I can outpace it as long as I keep rotating it around. Unfortunately, this fire is running rampant. All right. We seem to have... Oh, got it. Okay. Ooh. Uh... I think that's good. I think we're alive here. I This is going to burn to death. I can't save that. Okay. But this burning to death is fine if it vents all of the fire. Oh my god, the fire extinguisher actually saved it. Okay. All right, one down. All right. Okay. That could have been worse. That could have been way worse. I fully expected to die there. That's just kind of the thing that happens sometimes. Um... Sometimes a creature will just decide that you are the target and it will chase you down from outside of radar range and then you get ganked and you just don't have the tools to deal with it and that's just how that works. So, uh... Um, we survived. That's what matters. Alright, just wave over everything okay okay i am going to see if there is other materials here i can use there is all right nice And we're fully operational, minus a few crew. Okay, let me go reclaim crew. <sighs> nice. Sell hyperspace fuel, sell metals, sell bees. Pick up crew. And let's go. We have monies. There's bits of probably steel out and about. Yeah. All right. This is clear. Next, this guy. <laughs> Crew just another commodity for purchase? Yes, yes they are. Excellent, yes. Get it nice and close, cast laser beams, and solve problems one pew at a time. <laughs> You're a bit looty yourself, aren't we all? A little bit insane in the membrane. Why am I getting close? Why not? Let's make it die faster. It's got a cannon. I've got a shield. What's it gonna do? Hello, unknown contact. It's a hyper jump beacon. Hello. All right, another cannon. Excellent. Uh, 
Um, I have ammo enabled here, don't I? I do. Uh, let's jettison all of that. We don't need no stinking ammo. Claim this, please. Alright, sweet. Back to base we go. Collect monies. And sell off extraneous goods. 23 hypercoils. That's a lot of hypercoils. Okay. Uh, I need to determine how do I want to expand this. We did pick up a bigger, better laser. Uh, this is quite the large... will get in the way of um you know let's probably not do that until i can get bigger reactors so i can actually fuel that among other things um i could get disruptors i could throw potentially another one of those in there but as is we're already capped on power i already need a bigger reactor or just more reactor both of which are good options. Doo -doo -doo. Break it. Goodbye, cruel world. For I am the cruel world now. Okay. I'm getting away with being a bit un underpowered. Yes, yes you can. Unfortunately, I'm already way over my uh, power capacity. One shield generator and two small little plasmas is... Small little lasers is already taxing the uh, small generator to a point where it fails, as we have seen already. So I am chronically underpowered at this point. Alright, we need to do this. Chronically power starved. Uh, let's just go straight to the center. Thank you. Laser's turning off because people are going to, uh, the people that are powering it are the people getting it. Yes. Yes. That is one of the reasons. Oh, we don't go that way. New sign of crew to the guns, they stop getting up. Fortunately, not something I have the ability to do right now. Okay, collect this. Two. Alright, uh, blueprints. Disruptor. Hmm. Uh, don't, how don't I have the ability? Because I only have 12 crew. It would require a complete restructure and probably removing crew to do so. Let's see, medium power, and speaking of complete restructure, how much is this, and how much is this? Uh, 
affordable is what it is. And dangerous. Alright. Uh... Let's see if I do one of these, followed by two of these. Do I want to have a shield? Is the answer I think is probably yes. Could go with two shields. I like symmetry, but this is going to be quite expensive if I do this here. Very expensive. Um, let's try this and this. So we keep it thin. That should be better. I suspect I do not have the money for this yet. I'm probably getting a little bit too... Probably a little bit too uh, ambitious. Okay. I'll add a layer of armor around here. And we need... Thrusters. Okay. All right. I like the idea of the crew not being all the way in the uh, in the back, but huh? Actually, we can afford this so far. This is probably f fine. Um, I need here, 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 here. This is not fine. Um, how do I want to handle that? have a lot of turn thrust. Do I really need that? This can work just fine. Could be quite tanky, but not fast. I can live with that. Okay. I think I think we add 
another forward thruster here. We can keep up. Tempted to add another rear thruster, but I think that'll suffice for now. Okay. Double fire extinguisher. Double fire extinguisher. And one airlock. Right here. If I put it there, we won't be able to reach rear storage. Which... I don't want to... Peace goes. Uh oh. Um. You know, maybe we don't have two fire extinguishers. The fire extinguisher side and the airlock side. Not ideal, but... It'll do. I'll have to expand this later. From the corpses of the creatures we obtain. Alright. I think this is... I think this is going to be it for now. So we don't really have money for more. Um, is there a better place? I can do this and have a second fire extinguisher. Yes, yes I can. Okay. So, problem I'm going to have immediately is lack of crew. Uh, however, this is uh, something we can manage. Uh, you go here, you go here. Okay. And I need these guys to be full. Okay. Okay, a little under crew, but we'll manage. Oh, hello, we have hyperspace fuel. Uh, sell this for... I mean, that counts as money. Kind of. Next. Are these these look stationary. That's because they're stationary. Hello, creature. I harvest. I collect.
Okay. Hmm. Hello. Get inside, please. Because it may just turn on to us. Oh, this is not what good looks like. Alright. Chase it down. Alright. Another one down. There we go. Okay. Hello there, Carvius. Welcome in. Alright, so this gives us the, uh... Hey, Miss Raider. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? It's past your bedtime. <laughs> Having a good weekend, I hope. Of late gaming, perhaps? All right, we have another starship here. Ooh, more gubbins. You know, this area seems to have been pillaged by something that wasn't me. Was my goal for this run? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Just past your bedtime, indeed. Oh, the weekend. It goes so quickly when you're having fun, yes? Alright. Where are the... Here they are. We're gonna get jumped this time. Coming into here. No, I think not. Alright, it's gone. Harvest. Yes. Did that thing break apart from ramming an asteroid? Uh, no. There is no collision damage. You've been watching trash TV and drinking wine. Have you, uh, tried out a local uh, mead yet? I know we had mentioned that earlier. There's a, uh... I just finished off a bottle. From the, uh... From the local mead winery. It's so tasty. <laughs> mead is so good. Seriously, like, I'm not into beer i can do wine i can do hard liquors not that i'm much of a drinker anyways i'm not partial to the uh i like the flavor of most of the things like get me a spiked whiskey or like a spiked lemonade you know put a little bourbon in it or whiskey or something call it a whiskey sour but i don't like the effect of alcohol i don't like feeling drunk or even buzzed but I do enjoy, I do enjoy the flavor of it. It's, it's, it's like extra spicy foods. A little extra kick makes me happy. You don't know anywhere that has some? Understandable. The, uh, the best meat I've had was at a, uh, was at a Renaissance fair. But again, that's just the local brewer brewery. That's, uh... They were out advertising. It's like, hey guys, come check out this locally locally created mead. If you're ever in Georgia, I have to make some coquito. That sounds very uh, Latin for Georgia. Or maybe that's just the way I've pronounced it, the way I'm reading it in my brain. There's just the thick lasers doing thick damage. It's a Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican eggnog with rum. Yeah, you see, okay. You see, I didn't know that's what it was called. Um, I've encountered that many a time. Um, I'm not particularly keen on it. And again, I don't really like eggnog, so. Yeah, I've had that many a time. I just assume all the eggnog around my area whenever I go to family or whatnot, it's all spiked with rum. That's just, just, just how that works. In my brain, that was just how eggnog is. <sighs> you agree the feeling of it kind of sucks. That's why you only normally drink in the comfort of home. Understandable. 
I think the last time I've had any notable amount of intoxicants was when I was doing the Drunk Souls stream. Elden Drink. Oh lord. Alright. We should have gotten more money so we can afford more human resources. Um, is there any other immediate additions I wanted to do? I think not. I, I, I mean, I do want more crew and such. What is this game? This is Cosmeteer, the ultimate in shipbuilding uh, sandbox adventure. So, we can give a quick rundown of this game. This is Cosmeteer. This is my ship. It flies through space. As you can see, there's a planet in the background being all cosmetic and mustafari. Um, the objective? Survive. <laughs> More accurately, the objective is to complete and clear out all of the local star systems. This here is a space station. It has some missions for me to do. I've picked up some of them, as you can see here at the top left. These are missions. Basically, just explore the environments, clear out the, uh, clear out all the hostiles. And there's a few fetch quests, but I don't want to do fetch quests because I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, but mechanically, what makes this game interesting is that we create our own starships. So I'm going to go into build mode here, and what I can do is I can literally create our starship piece by piece, block by block. I can take basic blocks, go out here. I can take basic, I can create basic armored blocks to go in front of that. I, I can then add a whole heap load of point defense. So it's just tiny little machine guns that shoot at things. And um, we now have an extension to our ship. It's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, um, that's not... This doesn't really work very well, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, also, every weapon needs some manner of logistics. If you've ever played games like Factorio, uh, we have to provide supply to these. Like, these machine guns specifically require power, because they are automated machine guns. So I have to have a path, a walkable path, these corridor tiles, that goes from this path medium reactor core out to here so i could do something like say this and now these guys can exist you see i can make it so and i don't particularly you know what we'll do that now we have all these guys out oh well i forgot to actually connect them in in order to connect them the they have to actually touch the doors and then i have to put a door on each one of them so i can do that and now we have see look at that now we have a whole bunch of automated systems, automated machine gunners out there, and I can fly around with my new looking ship. It's not, this is not what I would call aesthetically pleasing, nor particularly effective. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and unbuild that right now, because it's, um, as the kids say, a mistake. But it, it can work like that. And so it is a full freeform sandbox game. And... If we look over here, this is our current star system. There are many star systems for us to explore. The objective? Clear them all. <laughs> the lava planet looks like my old Forge world from Dyson Sphere Project. Program. Dyson Sphere Program. Yes. Simplified star sector meets Factorio. Factorio? Yes. You're just saying this is Space Factorio. No, that's Dyson Sphere Program, which I am super excited because they promised a, uh, a new content drop complete with hostile forces early, early 2023. And I'm like, I am so excited for that. I am so very excited for that. <laughs> but yeah, this, this, is, this is a bit, it does have some Factorio elements but super factorial light. Like it isn't, you don't have to be a factorial player to make this work. Ah. Can also multiple ships. Yeah, our last, our last stream we had a, a star fleet. We had a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of tiny fleets, each one with their own individual railgun, And we just swarmed the, the hostiles. It was, Great fun. I'm a big fan of the... I think my favorite playstyle is having a, a fleet to command. Speaking of which, uh, I do actually want to uh, do some more adjustments here in the build, but I don't know what I need to prioritize next. Um, like To me, this screams I need armor. I can do things like... 
Here, let's do this. Um, um, just basic armored components. It's just a shame that multiplayer suffers from frame rate issues at the end game of reality. Single player suffers from frame rates. Last time, the time, not last time, the time before last, we built a Death Star that was a giant space laser that took up the entire screen. Um, so that was fun. That had frame rate issues. It had like, God, it had, how many people? I forget how many. It had many, many hundreds of people in it. Um, many, many hundreds of people in it. Just to man the laser alone, let alone everything else. It was like a flying city. <sighs> I'm looking for this button. I should do it this way instead. We can make it all look and make it all look pretty, and we can paint it. Uh, I'm not one for painting my star vessels most of the time, but painting is something that can be done. Ooh, what's the mirror button? That's the mirror button. So we can do things like, and you may enjoy this, if we go to... Paint. Here we go. It's very white, very bland. Uh, but we can change that. We can make it black. We can make it red, we can make it any color we want, any color in between, and we can do different layers. So if we do base paint of black, and then we can do the green, eh, that'll do. Uh, we can do things like, uh, let's just do basic square so I can put racing stripes on it. Isn't it pretty? It's so beautiful. Uh, when when we actually get when we actually get a what is it called? When we actually get a ship that's going to be worth painting, uh, won't be changed instantly. Then we can we can focus more on the paint job. Do you dazzle paint to destroy everyone's eyes? Oh no. Mech Warrior 4 war paint. Oh god. Stripes make it go faster. Yes. Red stripes, especially. Alright, let's go. Blueprints exists and uh, creative mode. Oh yeah. What was it? I saw Theta was doing a perpetual laser loop. It was like a particle accelerator just perpetually looping around and around and around forever and then when he finally released it like it had more power than the actual it was like more brilliance than the actual sun so it um when he released it it just one frame cut through everything which is satisfying It's getting closer. There we go. Oh, hello. Its engine's all right. Everyone back in. Have I seen the spinning ships that have a disconnected outer ring? Yes, yes, I have. Alright, so we didn't harvest this thing yet, but there's another creature here, and it looks very angry. It's a horsefly. It has very limited anger. We're going to we're going to get nice and close and personal. And it's dead. Alright. We didn't even have an opportunity to get close up. Alright. 
We smashed that horsefly. Oh, uh, so as a Christmas gift from my mother, uh, she got me a mushroom growing kit. So I'm working on those. They're particularly easy. I'm going to call them house plants to grow. Um, they don't really need much. You just put them on the windowsill and spritz them with water twice a day. And then we get mushrooms. They're in the process of growing right now. It's interesting to watch them grow. And they're the, uh, they're, they're the edible kind of mushrooms, so I fully expect to have tasty, delicious goodness by the end of it. Because I'm a fan of mushrooms. They go so well with so very many things. <laughs> Curses growing orcs. That's how it begins. Do you want orcs? Because that's how you get orcs. One mushroom at a time. Honestly, though, right now they don't even look like mushrooms because they haven't grown their mycelium yet. Is that? I don't even know what the right word for it is. It's just like... it's. At the moment, they are larval mushrooms, so they are just a moss-like fungal covering across the uh, the sediment bed. Oh, jeez. Uh, some of these are moving. So this is a space station. It's friendly. It's also surrounded by hostiles and getting slowly obliterated because it's not a military, military space station. It's a civilian space station. It doesn't have much in the way of weaponry. Alright, I think this thing is... Yeah, that thing is disabled. So let's engage this before it does something terrible to us. Good thing I added that extra armor, yeah? chase it down. I do thoroughly enjoy games that... Oh, we incidentally killed the other one. I do thoroughly enjoy games that have uh, mechanics where you can construct vessels that are modular to the point where if you lose a component, the entire vessel is not destroyed irreparably. Like, you can still function. We're talking like Robocraft. You had a leg blown off. Now you're just a mech walking around with one fewer leg. That kind of thing. Cosmeteer is no different. We're just a starship that has fewer things. Like that last time when we had a panic attack because we got jumped from behind when we weren't ready. And we had to shut down our shield generators to conserve power to enable us to uh, actually fire our weapons. Have you ever played Space Engineers? So I've never actually played Space Engineers. I have watched a great deal of content and is definitely the kind of game that I would enjoy. And I don't really have more to say about that, actually. It looks very enjoyable. <laughs> you miss Robocraft? Real shame what they did to it. I know, I know. I, I feel bad. I... One of my favorite things to do, like, every time, was to build an ejection seat and a full, like, recovery module for the ejection seat. So, if something, God forbid, something happened to me, I had a proper, like, ejection and repair module so was attached so I could eject from my walking mech and reconstruct myself. Or, you know, at least put myself in a position where I could be reconstructed. Which was great fun. Think I, you think I would like Space Engineers? Oh, I agree. I, I agree. Um, there are a great many games that I don't play in part because they're, they'd be too much of a... too addicting, and in part because there's only so much time in the world. Like, at the end of the day, Space Engineers is horribly complicated. It's the same thing with um, From the Depths. And the sheer creativity, the sheer quantity of things you can do is so large that it's going to take me a year to uh, be able to play the game at a level which is content creation worthy. Oh no, let's make another Clang Drive. 
but it's so much fun. This is, that's the, exactly the same reason why I don't even play StarCraft versus mode. As much as I play StarCraft all the time, because it's so fun. Because you know, I love I love RTS games, but when it comes to StarCraft, it's going to take me a long time to get good enough at StarCraft where I can reliably play the game while interacting with you guys. And that's just... You guys can go watch Winter if you want that. You've got Winter, you've got Loco, you've you got Pig, you've got Euthermal, you all the persons. Florencio if you want your memes. I can... Nexus hat, man. <sighs> You don't have enough time to get involved from the depths. I understand that feel. The same thing as Space Engineers. You call StarCraft the Red Bug game. Oh, no. Wait. Red Bug game. Oh, because Zerg and them being made out of blood. Understandable. Completely understandable. It's like, these Zerglings, what are they made out of? Blood. How can you tell? Give them a marine and see what happens. <laughs> Hashtag with leak. Last time, I remember when I did... I did one video where I did my placement rounds and released that. I got yelled at because like, In curses, how you haven't played... Like, checked your history. You haven't played StarCraft in like six years. You played five rounds, got placed in the diamond. I was like, okay. It's an RTS game. I get it. <sighs> I'm looking for this button. And this button. Because what I need is this button and this button. So I can get this guy and do... I already picked up disruptors. Do I need shields? Do I need hyperdrive? Don't need hyperdrives yet. Moving walkways are not there yet. Large power not there yet. We have all the factory stuff here. But we're not playing factory right now. Tractor beams, explosive charges. But add Cosmeteer to the channels in your Discord. I don't believe I'm going to add a dedicated Cosmeteer channel. Um, Y'all have been talking Cosmeteer in general for a while, and that's working just fine. Like that's the reason General is there for any and everything that doesn't have a dedicated, doesn't have a dedicated channel. As is, we already I just purged three channels because, well, they weren't being used. <laughs> tractor beam is very fun. Tractor beam is very fun. We can push and pull at the same time. Uh, what am I looking for? Additional weaponry? I think additional crew. Can make modular ships. I haven't played around with tractor beam linked ships. Hmm. I, I don't particularly want to play around with them, because I don't see anything that's exceptionally interesting aside from maybe ion chaining, but... They are certainly interesting. I appreciate their existence. They're, they're, they're one of those things that are fun, even if I don't use it. <laughs> um, I don't... Need more crew before doing that. I think we just need another redesign kind of deal here. Can add a disruptor here, here, and uh, I I don't think we need to uh, do remodeling right now. I think we just go get some more monies. Once we've gotten rich, uh, we can actually do a, a rebuild and make ourselves big thick and chunky just push enemies into the sun solar powered starships whether they want to be or not well that was fast we just one tapped the guy his cockpit is missing and all the crew have gotten vented out into space look at look at the crew they're out in space trying to survive oh look is your ship there does it have air that you can breathe it would be a shame if something happened to it Oh, look, hyperspace fuel. All right. Hmm. 
hunt them down. Oh, uh, these... These two creatures are fighting each other, which is awkward because they're both pirates. It would be a shame if something happened to them. Oh look, your cockpit is exposed to me. And he's gone. Um, we'll just split them down the middle, shall we? Look at these satisfying explosions. We can slow it down to half speed. Look at it. Wait for it. Over penetration. Target eliminated. You can get paid both for that. Okay. Um, yeah, just collect everything. We can't collect everything. That's not true. Um, we're gonna... If you guys like th thick backsides, um... This is this is what we got going on now. What's my opinion on the alternate fire mode and heavy lasers? It looks cool. I don't really have an opinion on it. I haven't found either to be more or less effective. Um, they have some little quirks. Um, it looks prettier, in my opinion, with the chain fire, or the alternating fire, but it isn't stronger either way. Is that, ever, is that everything? Did we harvest all of the things? Yes, yes we did. For volley fire for the burst damage. There is an argument to be made about the, uh, the volley fire being uh, a bit overkill. Whereas the alternating fire doesn't over penetrate as much. And so you get more shots on target. Because now we have this constant, constant barrage that's actually doing the damage where it wants to be as opposed to overkilling a single block. It's just like twice the rate of fire, but it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. And in my experience, I've not found an instance where it makes any difference. Like any measurable difference. Even though there are theoretical instances and observable differences between them, just in practice, it just doesn't it just doesn't matter. Alright. Ah. We can get rid of some of this dump truck. Alternatively, um, you know, this is something I've been avoiding doing in every playthrough so far. Um, let's actually, let's actually do the thing where we build a second ship. Where's my second ship button? Mm, here we go. Okay. Alright. You exist to be a hauler. Uh, I'm looking for is this guy. Just basic thrusters on you. Basic power. Power here. Thrusters to maximum. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be all we need. Like P 
period. And uh, everything else? Everything else is just... Storage. We can have corridor. Uh, we're also going to need beds for people. I forgot about that. Eh. Why do people need bedtime? This is not going to be a good layout. This is not going to get a bit be, be a good layout at all. I could make an engine box. He just found a deal maker hollow suites in the star sector. Oh my. All of those sweet, sweet deals at half price. I, I could just do an engine box. We have the money. is fine too okay and i can have crew on the internals here we don't need much but we need some and uh the sucker will not be able to turn like at all we need to slide you up so we can have the corridor here It'll work. This is this is fine. And we do this here, just for a little extra. Off, just just for a little extra. And now we add storage everywhere, specifically here. Like so. And where did my where did my control room go? Hmm. This is uh I just shifted everything down and changed nothing. <laughs> oh, that's not true, actually. I shifted here. Let's do this, this, this. There we go. I can't slide that inward anymore. This is fine. Corridor here, corridor here. Everything connect. Crew, corridor, corridor, corridor. Replace this with just internal structure. Hmm. This can be eventual crew quarter, but for now, it is internal structure. And then this is just blocks of space. Now, we need fire extinguishers and hatches for the inevitable doom. Let's see, hatch here. Let's do hatch here. Fire extinguishers. Go here. 
doors on each. Okay. And now door and door. This creature will not be long for this world if it ever gets shot at all. <sighs> Your planet is awesome too. Not very habitable, but good farmland, ultra rich or ultra rich ores and rare ores, vast ruins. Ooh. Interesting. So interesting note, and this is something I tend to be careful about, as we have nuclear lunch coming in from Crazy Mers, coming in and dropping that support. Red shirt brigade is here. We have so many red shirts though. Like actually though. Alright, so first off, we have save ship design. Oh god, so many. Look at all these pretty looking starships. Starfighters. Um, so we already had the harvester, we had the vacuum, so now we will have the collect collector. Uh the curio. There we go. Save. It was a love and chat for Crazy Moose coming in with that 20, that nuclear launch, all of that sweet, sweet, tasty support. Thank you, thank you. Mm. All right. Excellent, yes. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> you now have the mental image of flying a spaceship and turning left or right by faith as the fire engulfs the cockpit windows. <laughs> but what better place for the cockpit than in the fire and the flames? It's easy, just don't get shot, actually, though. Alright. Uh, so, crew, you, sir, need to communicate with the nearby starbase, which you cannot do because you don't have any crew. Okay. Uh, you, sir, need to come over here. Uh, let us transfer crew to the Curio. Send one guy over. Your job is to answer the phone. So you can go talk to the station and hire some more human. All right. All y'all been hired? Great. Uh, I think we can't hire any more. Uh, we can hire one more. All right, sweet. F2. There we go. All right. This is going to end poorly, but this is the world we live in now. All right, uh, you need to slim down, get some of that butt reduction technologies. Everything is on fire. It's the Dudley Do Right of space travel. Yeah, <laughs> the Dudley Do Right of space travel. I don't know what that means, but I'm laughing anyways. Just because the name sounds hilarious. Um, actually... We can kind of hard sell all of this, can't we? Like, I've got the pittance of storage here. I don't need more. Let's see, we can keep... I guess we can keep emergency standard coils and emergency metal there for reasons, but that's a in case of emergency kind of stuff. Is that hypercoil? That's hypercoil. We sold all the regular coils. Okay. Alright. Uh, emergency standard steel. 
I probably want to increase that reserve at some point soon. But for now, the curio collects everything. Okay. There you go. You got a little carried away with your storage and mining crafting ship. And you ended up with the mutant juggernaut of a ship with the largest railgun possible in vanilla. You missed the big junkers a bit. Oh no. You mean for repairs when I cock it up? Yes, actually. Alright. Alright, uh, so this guy, why can't I interact with the control groups? Interesting. If I have, if I have the harvest selected, I can't change. I can't reselect my other starships. Okay, good to know. All right, harvester, follow behind. Destroy pirate base. Target bounty. Yeah, just go over here. Huh. One of these is faster than the other by a lot. Harvest the gold, please. Is gold. Thank you. It's actually a fairly substantial amount of gold for especially the uh, not having a mining, any kind of mining tools. All right. This is priority one. Um, we didn't break it. We did break it, okay. Mm. There we go. We'll hang out here. Over here. It's just drifting. Go collect. We all forget how heavy your armor is. Yeah, it uh it can seriously affect the speed of your vessel by kind of a lot. So many bullet. Alright. Got scratched by something. We have Tritanium ore just kind of hanging around. What are you? Gonna die. That's what you're gonna do. Sweet. Uh, let's go straight to the power core, shall we? And gonna get the chain reaction. Kaboom. Hello. More friends. Uh let's go track that down before it turns into a problem. Um this game is very satisfying explosions. It really does. I'm convinced that's why you... I'm convinced that's like at least half of the reason you guys enjoy watching me play these games. Just because the explosions are so satisfying. So bassy. And if you guys think that people haven't recognized the benefit of big bassy explosions... Um, remember talking to the uh, developers of Fort, specifically Nosehead, who handles all the audio effects for it. And he was saying that after seeing you guys in the chat talk so much about how bassy and satisfying the explosions were in the game, that they actually went back to weapons like the deck cannon and made it even bassier just for the uh, audio satisfaction. I'm okay with this. I think it was a great idea. 
All explosions are satisfying, real or virtual. Real explosions, I find not all that satisfying. Unless, and even, unless it's specifically destroying something that's um, either emotionally or visually satisfying to watch crumble. But then it's usually the thing crumbling that makes it satisfying rather than the explosion. Explosions are just kind of loud, fast, and largely uneventful. Because they don't... Like it explodes. Like it's, it's not. It doesn't. It's not really visible, unless you put. I don't know. Like paint in it or something. You do something like shooting a spray can. That creates an explosion in a satis very satisfying way, but only because it turns into a spray of paint. Tech. Wasn't the premise of Mythbusters that explosions are fun to watch? Mythbusters was made by people who are like actual professional. Uh, what is the what is the word? Special effects artists who did professional Hollywood special effects for years and then blew things up Hollywood style because they could, and that is its own level of satisfying. <laughs> Best explosion was a firework show that set off every firework in the ten, same 10 seconds by accident. All right, that's, that's true. I'll, I'll give you that one. <laughs> Tom Scott did a good, uh, did a good sh episode showing, ex oh, that's the wrong, did it go, did a good episode showing explosions and how little excitement there is to them. Yeah. Uh, I can't say I'm familiar with that, but... Uh, it sounds about right to me. According to Adam Savage, they didn't get the explosions right till season 5. Ah. Well, that's something I never knew. Adam Savage still does a lot of stuff. It's um, quite nice. He's very good at what he does. I realize you pick up some extra sulfur here, but meh. Oh, no, we go this way. Uh, I mean, we could probably take it. Uh, we do have the curio here to save us in case something goes wrong. Like the shooting of a pain tank. Yes. That's uh That's a good that's a good example of something that's satisfying. Alright. Broken that. Oh, there's two level threes here. Um I so the reason I thought we could take this was because and simply that the uh, usually when there's multiple creatures, it's multiple small creatures, not multiple big creatures. All right, uh, I guess we're resetting. How's the storage ship gonna save me? Uh, well, it saves me because I don't have to restart the game. Because normally when this happens, it's game over. Um, it's not game over right now. We're just a little broke. Alright. So. Is the curio flying backwards? Uh, no. But I don't see why it couldn't. It doesn't really have a forwards and backwards, I suppose. They're mechanically about the same thing. Alright, so... Good news is that other starship was kind of cheap. Uh, bad news is we don't have another starship. 
Ah, uh, the road away and try again later style of saving. Yes, exactly. <sighs> okay. I think I can just probably... No. Ooh, it's not going to be here. And none of our starfighters are particularly cheap. Okay. We'll start from scratch. Yeah, the uh, the moment I saw that uh, that big creature, I was like, oh, we're in danger. I can handle this. And then the other ones came, and I was... Yeah, it was it was gone. That was that was the end of that because they're they're going to be faster and tankier and hit harder at this level. Um, I can beat them in a one v one, but when two of them show up, it's over. Beat my kosher materials. Yeah, that requires me to get over there alive. And as you've noticed, there are patrolling creatures around here, so I need to have at least something go forward and scout to make sure that we're not going to immediately explode. All right. Um, yeah, we're not going to get much out of this, are we? Because that's already about all of our money. Would I ever try multiplayer, like PvP? Uh, probably not. I don't mind the idea, as you guys know me, I like PvP stuff, but... I'll be honest, there's a... I just don't find PvP Cosmets here that interesting. From a player perspective. From a viewer perspective, absolutely interesting. Just, uh... Not from a player perspective. Yeah, this is already... We don't have the money for this. Okay. Uh, I can make something super small that exists solely for the purposes of scouting. And so I think we're going to do that. Reactor. Go back to two tiny laser beams. And one shield generator. Yeah, one shield generator... Here. Okay, corridor here, 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 and the rest of it can be armor here. Uh, you need corridor. And then crew quarters. Okay, so we should be able to afford this without too much of a concern. I can pull this in. Super basic little starship here. Airlock goes here. Fire extinguisher goes. Alright. Fire extinguisher here. Airlock here. Door here. Here. I think everything looks connected. do another set of doors here. There we go. Okay. You exist to look at things. Transfer crew. 
one to unnamed ship. Thank you. And now unnamed ship gives a big a call to the big boy here and says, I need Pearsons. Thank you. All right, so you should be nice and quick and nimble. So you don't weigh much. And your goal is go first. And then die slowly if something comes for you. Right, I'm just hoping one of these doesn't decide now is the time to start hunting. Alright, um... How close do I have to get to find debris here? Here. It's a gold asteroid. Oh god, they just sat there and disintegrated the thing. Nope! This is, this is why, okay, you go here, how many inches did we lose, alright, this is dead, I think we get away with this, Problem is that I need to get this crew back because we have limited engine power before the thrusters run out because nobody is on the ship to do anything. And they are uh, coming. Okay. Oh, that's it. We're dead. Okay. Well. It's been fun. Okay. Let's just let the game to slow down. I don't think slowing down would have saved anything there. Uh, when's the last... Save game? Right before building the ship. As those creatures are very fast. and Faster than me, that's for sure. Uh, so, we've made it here. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, we were just at this point before we went out. Uh, so, I think we can't just... I think we just can't go over there. Because they will... They will hunt us down. Getting fast of her system is all RNG. I mean... It's definitely an RNG management... Ses uh, RNG management game at the beginning. Because sometimes... They just hunt you down from across the system and that's just how that goes um okay let's try this again one and two Add two of these with a shield generator, and let's do this. I like this. Put an armor in front. Put an armor here. Pretty much gonna make the same thing again. What am I looking for? Thrusters. How fast? Yes. So I, I want it to be able to outrun things reliably. But I think we can afford it. Famous last words, but nonetheless. As long as I cheap out on everywhere else. Okay. 
Okay. Bit of a walk from the crew to the power, but once the walking has happened, it should be okay. Uh. Okay. We go fast. You exist to look around and be fast. This this guy should actually be able to combat pretty well. At least against some of the... In a 1v1 scenario. Okay. Oh. Airlock and doors. Fire extinguisher here. Airlock here with requisite door. Okay. Okay. There we go. Transfer crew. One over. You call this guy. Okay. This is fine too. Okay. Um, I really want... I really want the loot from our starship, so we're going to try that again and just hope they don't decide. Because it, it, whether or not they decide to attack is not up to me or how I play, mostly. Um, if there's just their aggro range changes so dramatically, we will probably be fine if I just do the same exact thing again. Because that's just how that works. As long as we're careful about it. Take things very slowly. Mm -hmm. Getting a feeling of deja vu, understandable. You've just been in this place before. Uh, bad timing on this. I want to get a little closer if possible. We gotta go. Yep, here they come. Okay. Uh, this guy's not ready yet. Now we go. Uh, you run this way, and then this way. I need you to engage this at this range. We lost our some of our thrusters. Alright, start angling this way, please. Oh, the Curio took some hits, but it's fine. Please move back. Your job is get away. You should be able to do that, yeah? Fire extinguishers doing their work. We lost some engines, but nothing critical. Doesn't have the ability to resupply that. Oh, problem. You just head directly back here. Please go faster. Oh, no. They will chase sometimes into the end of time. Uh, if we bring them all the way back to the station, we could deal with them. Uh, but as it stands, they out match us heavily. Mind you, we've done some damage to them. I imagine because huh we've somehow managed to 
get some decent damage on them. Uh, I imagine we got a critical hit here that took out the uh, disruptor and that has enabled us to do actual damage. Because as it stands, we have decent... We have an okay power on the uh, shield generator. The shield generator can do work here if we slide in a little bit. Uh huh. Slide in a little bit more. Okay. Because um, I 100% cannot take the second one. This one, however, I can chip away at. It's got a lot of armor and a lot of HP, but I, I can deal with it. Eventually. Probably not before we get to the starbase. But this is just one of these creatures, well, two of these creatures that are hell-bent on chasing across the entire system. So it doesn't really matter where I am, they will come get me. And that's just kind of how that works. Um, they are on fire. Alright, I need to rotate this way. Now that it doesn't have weapons, so I can turn. Oh, look how far away it is, still chasing me. All right, bring it back to the station. Curio needs to get repaired and get out because it's about to become a combat zone. This creature is out of action. Let's form up to engage this. This is a problem. Okay. Um, I am quite nimble. I can dance around it a very long time. I'm getting hits off here, which is exactly what I want. We've almost taken the disruptor. Ah, we did some damage to the disruptor. We took out its rear engine. Or its side engine without breaking. Yeah. We're doing well here. We've got a starfighter. A proper starfighter. It disarms. Uh, more accurately, it's uh, unpowered. Alright. Return to station. That's where you're most safe. From some... Randomly flying. I'm keen to just let this happen. Um, I'm winning this exchange. I'm keeping out of range of its disruptor, but within range of the lasers. I have shields. It doesn't. So I will deal chip damage to it. It will not deal chip damage to me. Eventually, we will get a hit that will detonate its uh, cannons, and that will be the end of it. Detonate some of its ammo, and we will see death. This is the only hostile vessel on radar, aside from the one that is no longer capable of moving. Which we almost got in range of. But... We need like one or two more hits. Oh, there it is. Alright. Uh, this is getting a little close to the Curio here. The Starbase is now engaging. Alright. Is dead. All right, sweet. Harvest everything, please. You. Inspect this, please. What's going on here? It is still alive. Uh, we will fix that. Okay. We're gonna be here a while. That's what 8x is for.
Nice. This station is not repaired yet. It is repaired. It just looks worn. Okay. All right. Um, so I think there was a third one there. Can you improve accuracy or range? No. Every weapon has a set accuracy and range. With the exception being the railgun. This one is over here. Yeah, all right. Give me this. Okay. <clears throat> and kind of iron beams. Kind, kind of, sort of. They, they definitely don't get more accurate, or they do get more damage. You can make an argument that they get kind of more range. Kind of. Not really. All right. So. We sell the hyperspace fuel 100% here at the time here. Uh, but I don't want to sell, I think, anything else because we need it. Oh, well, gold. But we need it for vessel construction. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab you and we're going to go scout that area again. see if there's still hostiles over here. There was a third one, which may not be here anymore because this area has been heavily trafficked by the local system defense force. Okay, so wherever it was is dead now. However, there is this creature, which is... Um, not scary. We outpace it, and it has only cannons. Its cannons are more damaged than us, but we outpace it and outrange it. So uh, let's just remove it one at a time. It can't catch up to us, and that's just how that goes. Okay, well... Um... We gotta rotate here. Let's continuously rotate around. I don't know why it just decided to run. I'm happy that it did, but I don't know why it did. Okay, uh, let me add one of these right here. Dead ship. Alright, so we should have the remnant me over here, which I don't know how much we got. Uh, the good stuff is still in there, okay. Not seeing anything on sensors, so let's go collect. Why? I don't understand. Why? If I'm over here and I hotkey this, it brings me to it. If I'm over here and I hotkey this guy, it doesn't bring me to it. I don't understand why. Does anyone know why it doesn't camera over to it? Like, I have to manually find it on the map, if that's not the case. Okay, move to engage, move to intercept. Another one of these. Which ship did I build first? Uh, a ship which no longer exists, uh, but this one has lived longer than this one. Uh, 
just manually target. Okay. There we go. I'm sorry? Was that? No. Okay. Wait. Why did that? How? Oh, I see. My old ship is still on the F, is still on the hotkey. So it doesn't know where to go, and I can't abandon it because it's dead. Um. Okay. See, now when I press the hotkey. Um, how do I remove something from a hotkey is the question. All right, now it's working. I think... Okay. Now it's working. Interesting. I'm just going to let this happen, however slowly it... it Alt F1 to clear the key. Okay, that, that makes sense. Uh, here. Alright, go regroup here. <laughs> Brave Sir Robin. Seriously, I, like, I don't have the money to give him weapons. And so we're just doing the run, just run away strat. Had money for engines though, that's almost the same thing. Okay, uh, let's add in additional storage onto you. There we go. Alright, so we should have gained a lot of the uh, expensive bits back, which is good. There we go. Ooh, we had an, an, an intact reactor room there. Nice. Try to completely remove the ship. Oh, the ship is gone. It has been completely removed. Uh, that that is no longer no longer an issue. <laughs> Collect all the thing. We could do mining again. That is a reasonable solution. Uh, but I think we can just uh, upgrade ourselves here, yeah? There is a dead a ship graveyard here uh, that can handle many a thing. All right, let's bring you back. Uh, we can do giant starship, not expensive starship, but giant starship, uh, which doesn't help us all that much if we can't. Uh... Hello. Doesn't help us all that much if we can't spend it because we don't have the crew oh my god Travis why are you like this incognito coming into the everything is on fire to give us <sighs> incognito coming with the everything is on fire to give us the greatest puns how are you doing today man 
welcome in. Always welcome here, even if they make my soul hurt a little bit. Hmm. Ah, yes. All right. We need to redo this. Wait, does this mean... It's now a lost ship because it's fully dead. Because I kind of want that same design back so I can adjust it. No. No, it's not. The time the hockey menu showed 1% of the ship still alive? Yeah. It's, uh... No longer the case. Yes, once once that 1% disappeared, the hotkey issue resolved itself. So I'm guessing because there was technically two ships on the hotkey, and the other ship was off screen somewhere where we couldn't see it, and also we had no control over it, the camera couldn't pan to it, because it just didn't know what to do. Because there's ostensibly an invalid ship on the hotkey. Um, that has been resolved. So... It works just fine now. Look, it's beautiful. Hot keys are good. Hot keys are great. All right, next. <sighs> what are my thoughts about B% percent being the pure probability of any event? I have no thoughts on the matter. I am. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't. Like, I actually have no thoughts on the matter. Okay. How effective would a missile ship be if you drop them like mines that chased you? I mean, missile ships are good. There's a reason why missile ships are very popular. Because they're good. Come highly recommended. If you're into missile ships, you like missiles, you missile. Generally, you don't drop them like mines so much as just flood. You just fill space with them so much such that the enemy can't get to you because they're too busy digging through explosive warheads. They also can't get away because the explosive warheads are chasing them. It's, um. Hmm. That's something you'd run by ChatGPT. ChatGPT is terrible at math, though. It just spouts gibberish. Funny gibberish, but gibberish nonetheless. Missile orbiters are pretty good. Missile orbiters are terrifying. Like trauma-inducing terrifying. As we have Renny. Well, hello there. Hey, we're back to this game again. Thanks for content. Yes. This game good, though. How are you doing tonight, Renny? Welcome in. Coming in with that 50, taking that top spot for support. For the night so far, how are you doing? It's a PvP design? Yeah. Well, I mean, one of the one of the reasons I don't like going so missiles in career... Why were you like this? What do you call jokes that you can eat? Pun cakes. <laughs> Pun cakes. <laughs> why are you like this? <sighs> Incognito coming in with even more puns. <laughs> missiles take so much crew. Missiles take a ridiculous amount of crew, and they are expensive to run, and... They have logistics downside, logistical downsides. I, I find it very difficult to have them constantly funded and efficient in a scenario where you have to back to back run through several ships, such as career. But um, in PvP, where you just need one ship for victory and it's all or nothing against that one ship oh by all means like missiles are toppest tier they solve all sh starship shaped problems one explosion at a time this is an insufficient amount of thrust not centered yes i am have a good night barkley good luck out there emp is hot Yes, yes it is. Hmm. Demand a diagonal ship. We did a di we did a diagonal ship. When's the last time we did we did a diagonal ship two runs ago? 
The uh, the the Death Star was a di was a diagonal ship. Was it a diagonal ship? Yes, it was. I spent a lot of time making it a diagonal ship because I wanted to. What's the advantage of large lasers over ion beams? They're different weapons that serve different purposes. Ion beam is long range, constant tickle damage. Heavy laser punches, and it punches hard. That's about it, really. Okay. I remember this. I remember... This. Not that I'm particularly keen to keep the old design. But the old design sounded good. It felt good. Until we got jumped. Okay. Hmm. I'm just gonna make a particle accelerator in space. One particle at a time. Uh, how much crew do I need here? Not that much, right? Like, this walk is a little long, but I'll survive. We're a bit punchy here, which I like to see. Um, Looked pretty good, pretty solid. Pretty simple. Okay. Missing some key components here. Uh, where is my airlock? Here. And fire extinguisher. My one fire extinguisher. Here. I should reverse these fire extinguishers here. Airlock here. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's do. User operator. Uh, you can be. Gunners. There we go. Job priorities. Let's do you. Operate at 10 before anything else, and everything else is secondary. Don't much care for it. All right. There we go, and you there. Now I just need You to go here, you to go here. There we go. Good. <laughs> this is apparently a full-time job just to keep these two topped off. That's interesting. Okay. I uh, will save this just so I have it. Save ship design. We'll do... What are you? Laser frigate one. 
All right. That's operational. Let's top you off on crew. So we don't run out of engine power mid-combat. We're out of money. Not a big surprise. That can fix that. By selling this and... All of this and... We'll keep our processors in enriched uranium. And now we can grab you and pick up a little bit more crew here. Top you off. Can I top this guy off on crew too? Sell everything? Yes. You missed it. We, we're selling... <laughs> we got destroyed twice. So when I say sell everything, I mean this... We're missing some compo... Notice anything missing from this little vessel here? It's, uh... A little lightweight. It's really weak in the front again. This? It's got energy shields. That's what energy shields are for. Yes, it is. It, the engine components are especially are especially weak. Uh, the laser beams are not particularly vulnerable. Uh, or, well, I guess, I mean, they just say they are particularly vulnerable, but like... What do... I could diagonal ship for these, but I don't want to diagonal ship right now. We did that an entire run last time. I want to do a standard ship for once. Like I like diagonals and all, but let's let's just keep it simple for one time. Just one time. It was like a 45 minute recovery from the initial disaster. Oh no. All right, what have we got waiting for us here in this? Just... Oh, God. Oh, they're not happy with each other. Okay, I can... I can opportun... I'm an opportunist. Let's go. Is this game like faster than light meets Railroad Tycoon? Uh... If there's a... I can see the... The FTL comparison... The FTL comparison is definitely is definitely there. Um, it's more real time combat, like as we see here. I'll slow it down. We have actual. It's more like Factorio meets real time starship combat. Um, so if you notice, I'm not manually controlling these. I'm setting the config. And as you see, we have totally not conveyors going around bringing energy to the uh, laser weapons and the shields. Our shields are holding because they have energy going up. We have our laser beams flying across the world here, targeting random places here, although I'm going to designate a specific target. I want them to remove the enemy energy core. Um, and go like this. I mean, the trading and such. Uh, you know, we can we can do a quick overview of that real quick, because we're going to head right back to the trade station. Because things are about to get... Things are about to get messy. Uh, let's get it closer. And kaboom. Alright. Let's bring over here. Hello there, Hawklight. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, well, we went a lot further than I expected. Okay. Let's harvest all of this. I miss our paint job already. Like, I realize the paint job was only striped lines, but I, I miss it already. Alright, so we've completed that objective. Space engineers, maybe? Uh, yeah, there, there is a good comparison between space engineers here, although this is far, far more simple than space engineers. Like, way more simple. Pause and play is the kind of type that you describe this as. Fair enough. Uh, so here I'm going to go talk to this station. I'm going to hail it. Because this is our quest giver. Specifically, I'm going the bounty hunter route. Because I'm not interested in the fetch quests. Because screw fetch quests. But Cosmeteer is a... Uh, almost like a voxel-based spaceship designing game. Uh, it's very, very similar to Space Engineers in that regard. So I can head over here. This is my current combat freighter. And you know, I think this combat freighter could have 
a huge array of automated point defense weapons. But wait, automated point defense weapons, they need... They need power in order to make them function. How do you get power? I build a corridor. A corridor that runs all the way up to them. And so now, I can connect all of these up here. Make sure they have doors because everything needs doors. Otherwise, you can't get to them. And these... Uh, too expensive. I can't actually press the button. I'm broke. Okay, that works. But now I want these. And you know what happens if I press this button? We now have automated point defense systems that can get power. And now they just have a bunch of automated machine gunners up here that run these. Very simple. Works. It's great. It's a great time all around. Um, you here? Yes, you are. Okay, good. Um, I, I don't particularly want this because this is, you know, I would say not ideal layout. But it works, and I can design everything around here. Let's say if I want some more armor. Let me add some more armor on this, so maybe it's a little bit tankier. And now I have big, thick, and chunky ligaments out here that are keeping this thing protected from all of that. And it's, it looks like a shrug. <laughs> oh my god, it does. I didn't even, didn't even realize that. <laughs> oh, jeez. But yes, this is, this is the starship. This is the um, <laughs> disposable PD walls, just single use. You know, unironically, uh, a blade of style armor like that, it is it is pretty good. But just not right now. A little, a little expensive, a little rich for my blood at this stage of the game. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, everything, everything in this game works with that kind of modular system where I have to make sure I have thrusters on, I have shield generators which are powered by this by this power uh, reactor room here. I have two heavy laser beams off the front engines. I have to have crews back here. Next, build the table flip. <laughs> we can, actually. We, we can do that, and we can throw explosives on the tables. When you throw the table at something, it just detonates, which is... Actually, kind of fun idea now to think about it. <laughs> you know the best part about this? We can come over to... Where's my button? Right here. I can do this. I can paint it black. And then I can go like this. I can paint it green. And let me find my... Where, where is it? Why? Ah, okay. Uh, where's my green color? Uh, we do do racing stripes again because racing stripes best stripes there we go racing stripes best stripes problem solved is beautiful and now we have a beautiful little starfighter here USS table <laughs> oh no alright so I'm a save scum real quick because I want to do something stupid. Um, this never ends well, but I'm always curious as to how badly this can go. But I want to. I just want to see what happens. So, obviously this is not going to go well, but I want to see what happens. I really want to see what happens. Alright. What are you? Tiny. Uh, open fire. <laughs> intimidate them with a paint pattern. So last time they saw my paint pattern, they chased me literally all the way across the solar system just to come get me. And uh, it was bad. It was really bad because <laughs> there were so many of them. They were bigger and faster. That's not true. I was faster, but they were bigger and they hurt a lot. I might be able to run away so many times that I win. Uh... Kind of, is if they start coming from sides, like it's, it's only so much I can do. 
Remember that I'm not going to be faster than all of them. So I won't get to choose the engagement. At least, not necessarily. There's just a fat chance I won't be able to choose the engagement. However... We seem to be... Handling this pretty well. This game is awesome. I tend to agree, yes. Alright, uh, let's just go straight to the reactor. Oh gosh, they are coming. Oh lord, they coming. Uh, these are actually kind of small creatures. Um, they're not particularly fast either. So I'm going to do this. Like so. And... There we go. Just to, uh... We, we are faster. I do like faster ships. I like nimble, and I like having many creatures to control. And that other one's coming back for me, but we have energy shields. I'm noticing that our forward peak here is poking out of the energy shield. I can tell because it keeps getting obliterated. Oh god, they are faster than me. They are faster than me. Barely, but they are faster than me. So I cannot truly disengage. I have to wait for them to disengage, which they do after I, you know, break them. Does this one still have a gun? It does. Ooh. Did we take a hit? I don't think so. Looks like we didn't take a hit. Okay. That's 75 plus speed on the enemy. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm going 76 meters per second on this sucker. And they are outpacing me, so... Faster than 76. When ships can you control? Yes. There is no limit to the amount you can control other than your sanity. Uh, I'm a big fan of controlling all of them. I think the most I've ever controlled is 60. They were all Starfighter, like, Strikecraft level. But... They were able to um, cost, cost effectively remove Star Destroyer, like 15 million level starships, like straight battle cruiser class creatures, and do so cost effectively. Mind you, of course, they're strike craft, so if they got hit once, um, they just disintegrated. But there was a lot of them. That's a giant asteroid. What are the chances that this is a military base and just I get close and get one shot? Hello there, Popcorn Pop. Welcome in. Glad you enjoy. Alright. I'm gonna pull a lot of salvage. Uh, you see, the re I don't even need this. There's a, a, there's a perfectly good ship graveyard right here like this isn't going to give me something that i can't uh, this isn't a giant military base it's just medium um it's actually all short range so i can cause massive damage like so so this is, uh, it's big, thick, and tanky, but it isn't capable of doing anything about this. Um, okay. And it only has one power core right in the middle. So, uh, this is going to happen. 
So the Curio is about to get a big upgrade. By that I mean it's going to appropriate an entire star base. <laughs> oh no, chat, what have we done? All right, um, let's modify this a little bit. We'll add this here at just leave that as it is. Okay. We need to do this. It's also like Slither.io. All of the material, all of the construction, all of the expansion costs materials. Like as we see this steel plate here, this steel plate is one of these blocks that we build with. And um, all of these blocks here can be harvested and turned into my own steel plates and grafted onto my ship in any way I see fit. And that starbase had a lot of steel plates. So we are going to be turning the curio here into fat. It's going to be very fat. That's what, that's what's going to happen. There is a creature in this area that we have to, to exterminate. And I'm concerned because... Okay, there it is. Didn't you do that faster than I than expected? Yeah, uh, usually the stations at least try to spin or do something. Uh, this did not. Oh, it's another one of these. A phalanx light escort. Let's go straight to its reactor core. <laughs> that star base is about to become a railgun. I don't think it's got the right materials. The railguns do cost rare earth metals. Rare star metals. Rare metals. Alright. Noticing that I didn't quite... I didn't mark where the uh, pirate base was. It's over here. Base. <laughs> You're with these ships. Do they have families? Hopefully life insurance. You know, humans are a resource too. That's, uh, that's what this game has taught me. Alright. Uh, let's harvest these first over here so I don't have to remember where they are oh. organic matter yes <laughs> yes yes they are uh, so this star system is like two-thirds cleared close close to two-thirds cleared which means once it's fully cleared we can just rely on the system defense forces to keep us intact we can just kind of harvest the entire system as we see fit. Uh, though I'm not particularly keen on going mass harvesting. Um, we definitely need to do some harvesting. And I'll take, you know, the cream of the crop off of these starships. But I don't particularly want to go collecting asteroids and such. There's plenty of resources we can mine and harvest from the uh, environment. I just don't want to. I would rather shoot things. I like shooting things. What is the goal of the game? Conquer. We are this. We are in this system. There are many systems. None of them are painted green right now. Same as Slither IO. Become big. Dominate. Consume. But actually, though. Like, um, let's take, you see this ship here? Imagine if in our previous playthrough, we managed to get to something like this, which is significantly larger um, by a lot. This sucker did some damage. The sucker did a lot of damage. For comparison, uh, this is the size of the ship we have now, which is quite uh, quite pitiful by comparison. 
Like this thing is about the size of the engine block, one of the engine components <laughs> of our last ship. <laughs> so, yes, we it is like Slither IO become more. All right, uh, I think we've got about everything that I care to collect. At least from these ships, because I don't see anything else out here, like uh, reactor cores or anything. All right, this guy's got a reactor core still active. We can collect that. All of that juicy, juicy energy materials. Okay. We are going to be here a while. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Let's do the trick. Transfer crew to transfer one of you here. Your purpose is to turn on the build mode systems. And then we do... Literally delete everything please delete there we go and because we can't have an invalid ship we need to have a cockpit with a bed and an escape route and an escape route there we go now look at all that mess out there Nope. Oh, no, oh, don't do that. We do abandon ship. Thank you. And now we have this giant floating mess out here. Uh, surely, surely you went back into here, yeah? 23 to 24, that looks correct. 16, okay, yes. He just went back into the curio. All right. Harvest, please. And while you're at it, you're going to need some more storage room. So let's do that. Okay, corridor goes out here now. Uh, let me do one airlock hatch here and one fire extinguisher here. There we go, now we need Dorage. That'll do nicely. Okay. Please collect. Oh nope, those are those those are ammunitions. Let's uncollect ammunition, please. Um you know, of all the ammunition you could be collecting, it's not the worst ammo. This was apparently an ammo reserve, which, while interesting, isn't that interesting. So we're not going to be getting terribly much out of this. So ammo is just not an amazing source of income. Can't I sell ammo? Uh, yes. It's just literally the cheapest thing possible, and actually not worth the time like the time i spend doing this even on 8x i could have just flown anywhere and picked up any amount of material and gained more value from it um i'm gonna do it so i can show you but this is uh, gonna be here a while and uh Hmm. So how's it going, chat? This is slow yet. Yeah, we're picking up 2,080 bullets, which is a lot of bullet. And we have fi completely filled our reserves. Actually, let's go do this guy here real quick. I mean, to go from below to suck. Yeah. It's, uh... Are there any components here I want? 
Yes. Nothing else here is collectible, it would seem. Yeah, okay, we're good. Done. Okay. Go here. You come check this out, because I don't know what this is. <laughs> you need a bigger curio. Uh, not at the moment. Also, can't afford it. Because we've already... So... Alright. Um... Hmm. Okay. Let's go. What are you? Does anyone want to come into sensory range? Yes. Okay, that's tiny. This one's tiny as well. We're fine. This is what I was expecting the first time. Is usually in the starting area, it will say, Oh, here's multiple creatures. Let's let's actually, you know, not send bigger massive things at you. Alright, so we're going to sell a whopping 2,000 of these bullets for $1 a piece. Compared to literally anything else. Like, say, all of this, all of these coils, 200 coils for 10k, or 600 steel for 7.4k. It's just not amazing. Okay. This is fine. Let's get closer. Chase it. Please don't let it escape. Thank you. Okay. Um, hmm, did we lose any crew? Yeah, we did. That's unfortunate. We still have some extra steel around. Uh, that's a hypercoil, isn't it? This guy is still selling the bullets, but that's gonna be a that's gonna take just as long to sell the bullets as anything <laughs> as it did to gather them. Oh no. You blow at the pirate base you find five hundred copies of Photoshop, could you imagine? Alright. Dissect this. It's got internal components that we need. To uh, rebuild our engines here, among other things. This guy does not have the capacity to repair outside of a minor damage. Like, we have to consume other ships nearby. We're going to be hearing that ticking for a long while. Like this. We're still missing a couple engines here. Ooh, that's an engine there. Wonder if it'll be enough. It might not be enough. It's damaged. Can we get one more engine? No, no we cannot. Oh, but it's so close though. Um. <laughs> this is the other reason you don't sell ammo. 
Yes. Yes, it is. Now we have to live with this. It's a hyper coil. I want regular coils. Regular coils. Thank you. Because we can move, but we can't move at max mobility. Due to um, lack of engines. Oh, hey, it's done. All right. You, sir. Uh, I didn't sell everything. We're not done. Uh, we didn't sell our iron or sulfur. All right. Can we repair this? No. All right, hubris. Ooh, hello. What are you? Storage pod. Collect. All right, come on over here, Curio. We need you. What is inside of you? We have... Ooh, Tritanium. And processors. Well, wow, lots of tri-steel. Okay. Some random pirates guarding a secret stash. All right. You'd love to see it. That noise is going to get annoying. It can't become that which it already is. Hmm. Curio got real thick and is no longer moving quickly. Hello. You seem to have collected a friend. How have you done this? Like, actually, where did this come from? Okay. Let's go. Just suddenly gift. Alright. There should be something here on this marker. <laughs> Curio may need more engines. Curio doesn't really have to move quickly. Curio's only purpose is don't get shot at. Which, you don't really need speed for that. You just need to not be in a place where people have guns. Which is a lot easier to do when you have guns. So we just have the gun go in first. And make sure that they don't have guns. And then, you're safe. Okay. Thank you, Laser Frigate, for guarding all these goodies. This is actually good. Okay, next. Oh, remove. Uh, we need to go back to the station. And then head over here, through this area. Uh, I think... Are you close enough to... No, you're not. Not anymore. The Curio should have... Actually, the Curio doesn't have the components for, uh... Doesn't have the components to repair Laser Frigate here. They're going to have to purchase repairs. Which is fine. It's cheap. Oh, God. Why is it... It's fine. I can live with it. Price gougers. I'm going to sell off these bits and then move on to the next area. Hello. I'm back. I bring goodies. I'm going to hang on to the tri-steel. However, I'm going to drop the tritanium ore. So I don't need that. Everything else I'm going to actually keep, except for the hyperspace fuel. Because we're moving on. Curio's silhouette is an 8-bit skull. Oh my god, you're right, it is. Oh, that's amazing. I could even make it more rounded. It's in the Curio to the ship graveyard. I'm going to after I inspect some of this bit over here. It's just, it will live to harvest the uh, ship graveyard. We might be here a while. Why don't I check to see if I finished any missions that I haven't accepted yet? Oh, I have. I, I know I have. Uh, but that isn't 
something that I'm capable of completing right now, so... Like, I can't do what you've... I can't do what you're asking, but I have completed missions that I have yet to accept. Okay, how are you doing? Uh, you look big. You've probably got some goodies inside you. Can you be? Can you build a refining production station? Yes, yes, you can. Uh, in our in our uh, Starfighter playthrough, we had exactly that. It was very effective because it could just pump out Starfighters as they needed, as we needed them, which we kind of needed them a lot because they got shot and exploded because of Starfighters and like a railgun just <laughs> overpens them. Oh, you guys looking over here. It's still going. It could be a while. Right. Um, I just... Was there something here? Hyperspace fuel. Steel. Looks like there isn't anything here worth picking up. Um, we've got the important bits already. We're good. This is fine. Still missing crew? Yes, yes I am. <laughs> 2D Voxel Eve Online. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what do you, th you think Mike would think of that? Can I imagine if we compared this to Eve Online in, in front of Mike. That would be a... That would be a funny event, I think. Right, harvest that. I am concerned. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is looking bad. I've probably been here a while, too. Uh, those are missile, missile lawn chairs. Alright, you come over here. Harvest this. It's faster than me, which is not a big surprise. Hello, stiletto. You are made out of gun. Um, let's do this. Let's move a little closer. Probably, yeah, that's good. All right, engage. Keep firing. All right, got it. We have one stiletto here. Repair you. You are harvesting. Gunners are getting up for bats. Uh, they shouldn't. I may need to fully disable the, uh, the battery experience here. Because otherwise... I for I forget that the uh, you're denied battery supply. Um, the problem is once the weapon becomes disabled, they this priority gets set to zero because they can't do it. So. platform. You're out of missiles. The station appears to have killed everything there, except for the missile platform, which was out of range and also exhausted of all of its missiles. Which I guess that's not a terrible surprise. Station is big and dangerous. Uh, let's go harvest these creatures over here. I am curious as to where the rest of them are. Did 
so I can um, scavenge them. Do we ever do Cosmeteer's runs that last multiple streams? Uh, yes. Oh, Interceptor be fast. Ooh. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. You, sir, are a problem. Please stop existing. Where are your weapons? You're a missile launcher. Oh, that's terrifying. I don't have PD. I do have energy shields, though. And thankfully, the missiles are heading straight in. Okay. Got it. All right. Problem solved. Looks like we took a little bit of splash damage here, but nothing too crazy. Okay, harvest all the things. Smelt it? Yes. Oh, I see. I was thinking smelt it like the ship. We turn it into smeltery materials, which is something we can do. Because smelteries are a thing. I may end up getting a smeltery on this ship so we can, uh, you know, process materials properly. Get all the goodies. Alright. Put you here. And move on. Collect. Alright, so this star... Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Uh, I appreciate that we can just kind of claim it all as, you know, reward for helping the station stay alive. Because, uh, it's totally, totally good. I need to communicate with the station. Alright, two completed quests. I think we got another one here as well. Yeah, another one here as well. Pick up these. Okay. Max out on crew. Max out on crew from you. No, we're already maxed. All right. Yeah, excellent. Okay, it's, I think, about time that we actually expand ourselves. We do have a couple options. We can work toward mining, so we can harvest the entire solar system can do mining with all this smelting stuff steel smelter and such alternatively we can work on cannons that sounds like a good idea to me those I'll do this uh Let's transfer resources. Hypercoils, the good stuff over. How is co-op in this game? It's actually pretty all right. Um, it's definitely, it's not like a co-op game that you can just hop into with random people. You can't, oh, I went the wrong way. Uh, this is, it's not a co-op game that you can hop into with random people. Uh, you have to have friends or, I don't know, like hop on Discord and have get with a dedicated group to play co-op with but it's actually pretty all right i guess it's a pretty good time leave it there okay why not cannons cannons are so much fun the cannons are super satisfying in this game 
Okay, so looking to upgrade this guy. How much does the railgun blueprint cost? I I'm convinced to going railguns. I'm convinced going railguns this early is a mistake. Railguns going this early is surely a mistake. I'll pick it up. It's like there's no way we can. There's no way we can get that. All right, so we're going to need the hyperdrive set up. Let's let's not do let let, let us not do the uh, the railgun already. All right. We'll go cleanse the rest of these areas. Clean up our mess. Load spine. What are you? Another missile vessel. We should be fine here to leave this on 8x. Famous last words. Inconsequential splash damage. Target here. Next, over here. Go bounty hunting. <laughs> Can you do the mech warrior thing? Load up on 50 ERP PCs to show them one shot then shut down. Well, there's no overheat mechanics, but you can do similar kinds of things. Um, similar kinds of things. Like, for example, running off of capacitors instead of... Uh, instead of resupply. So if I were to say load up on energy capacitors for my energy weapons rather than energy reactors, what I could do is I could apparently get bodied. Uh, what I could do is I could have very cheap and easily spammable weapons that lets me get many, many weapons front loaded. Uh, but they will run out of energy very quickly and I won't be able to fire them more than a few volleys. Which, in my opinion, definitely a mistake. A great way to explode, uh, but doesn't really, doesn't necessarily do the job you want it to, you know? Doesn't quite have the mech warrior thing. Wow, a, a cannon round penetrated and uh, shut down the entire side. Okay. Can we repair? No. No, we cannot. Here. Can at least get those guys unstuck. Did we lose crew in that? No, that was close though. Alright, we're going to have to bring the Curio over to repair our engine block here. Maybe add a wing in front that uh, covers our front facing rockets. As it stands, the rockets, the uh, thrusters are too far forward. We can't add a wing on front. Uh, but that will change. Alright, so once the Curio gets here. And. Wait for it. There it is. Uh, we can now repair using the materials from the Curio. And now you harvest all this. Good. Excellent. Next. What are you? Hyper hyperspace relay. Are you looking good out here? Yeah, you are. All right. You go dump some stuff. Hey there, beta hunter. Welcome in. Curio is hungry. Curio got so much. Oh, Triraptor uh, concern intensifies. We'll be one xing this fight because it is fast and is dangerous. It's shutting me down, if you guys can see the picture-in-picture is happening here. It's 
draining all of the energy. In fact, let's go ahead and manually shut down these shield generators, because as much as I like the shield generators, we don't have the energy production to run the shields and and uh, weapons at the same time. All right, we've removed their energy drain weapons, their high energy drain weapons, so we're going to swap the shield generators back on to save us from taking too much damage. Okay. Chase it. All right, there we go. We have taken as that. I don't think we could have done more damage to that. All right. All right. Start deconstructing. Is this PvP or PVE? This is all player versus environment. Is MWO still alive? You know, it's updated. Does it have any real player base left? It does actually. Uh, you can still find games. Yeah, like it's. It's alive. It suffers from niche game syndrome, where the players who play the game, who still play the game, are incredibly competent, and will generally just dumpster anyone who's just getting into it. Uh, that's not terribly surprising, especially given that it's a mech warrior, and is kind of a, an incredibly high skill ceiling game. Uh, let me go ahead and add... more here. Remember the days when I would play it competitively. It's a very, very good time. It still is a good time. It's just hard to get people into it. Very hard to get people into it. All right, Curio has been in thickened. Uh, let's bring Curio over here to repair. Do -do -do. <laughs> How come you have so many more subs on YouTube than followers on Twitch? Not long ago, you started on Twitch? As Twitch... I don't typically do Twitch content. It's a good way to describe it. I'm more of a YouTuber that has a Twitch channel. Okay, so we should be all cleaned up over here. Besides you, how much MWO has fallen off player-wise? I mean, it's kind of inevitable. Uh, all games do eventually die out. It's just uh, MWO hurts because it's it's Mech Warrior and we love Mech Warrior. Oh God, it's one of these again. <laughs> <laughs> you still loving your clan hunchy with dual UX? You're that guy. Understandable. Okay, so one, two. Oh, go faster, please. Oh, it crashed. And it'll give me an opportunity to uh, get out of disruptor range. So we hopefully don't have to shut everything down. So close. There it is. All right. We don't have to shut anything down. It drained all of our power, but we should be good here. I think we just go straight for blood. Ever played FTL? I've never actually played FTL. Oh, it's chase. It's friend is chasing. We don't we don't stop running. I don't know what its friend is, but we're not going to find out. Uh, we are definitely coming back here. Kirio, redirect to the north. Oh, its friend is one of these. Its friend is fast. Its friend is very fast. Hey, we got we knocked out its disruptor. That should keep us in the game. God, oh lord, they angry. Let's rotate our shields. And just fire sideways. We took out its cockpit. There we go. I think we aim for the cannon. The big cannon. The large cannon. 
Who needs clan tech when you could have a Steiner scouting party? I w I'm a light mech player. I play lights and mediums that roleplay as lights, like the Cicada, for example. I am I am the one doing all the ankle biting. It makes me happy. This thing is still alive. Move in for the kill. Did you ever play Mech Commander 1 and 2? I never actually played the Mech Commander games. Uh, I didn't find them until like way into like way like until like after MWO. It wasn't until actually I was looking into Mech Warrior 5 and the inspiration for it that I found Mech Commander. <laughs> Do I always run away at Mech also? No, light mechs you can't really... Light mechs don't really work that way, although I'm pretty certain that's the, not the point. Alright. Light mechs, you have to have, you know, 99% uptime with your weapons just always be firing, so you've got to be in the thick of it the entire game. <laughs> Hello? Nothing on sensors? Okay. We're all cleared up over here. Nice harvest. This one has an intact reactor, which is nice. <laughs> you used to run a jihad hunch, uh, jihad hunch bee. Full on pulsed large laser and alpha. Core to Atlas is reliably, but blew up. You can run with the, uh, the beef style. Mech Warrior 2 was one of your favorite games of all time. You had a joystick for flight sim controls. Yeah, uh, I'm tempted. I was actually tempted to pick up Star Citizen. And if I pick up Star Citizen, I'm getting some dual stick action. Because I, I miss having sticks. A stick in each hand. So many buttons to press. Alright. I'm looking all clear. Oh, 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 what happened? I pressed the wrong, wrong hotkey. Why are there things here? Collect. Okay. You like Mech 2 Mercenaries? Mech 2 is a good game. I remember I found a bug, actually, when I, when I was uh, playing it. Uh, let me have ostensibly infinite tonnage. So I, I put like a 300 ton engine on a fire moth, which was crazy because I just kept clicking the increase speed button and I don't know how I managed to get that, but that sucker ran like 200 something kph. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I ran through the, ins I was outrunning PPCs, which was hilarious to me. It only had, it only had one small pulse laser, which was not ideal, but I still made it through almost the entirety of the game with that one mech, just because literally nothing could catch me. It was so much fun. Like I understood, it wasn't, I understand it wasn't exactly, uh, I just didn't care, it was just too much fun, to, it was too much fun to pass up. We shall blast them one laser beam at a time. It seems to have got its wings stuck on an asteroid, and notice how it doesn't have any reverse thrusters anymore, so it can't get off of the asteroid. That's what happened here. Alright. Let's go collect this guy. What, what hit me? Oh, splash damage. It's fine. Do, do, do. What happened to RoboCraft? Uh, for those just catching up with the RoboCraft conversation. Uh, the developers made some decisions. Um, 
they actually i remember them releasing a re review of those decisions because people were like what happened to robocraft developers what were you thinking when you made these decisions they're like well we were scared because the game was dying and we weren't making much money so we made some massive changes and killed the game off entirely and by the end of it it was no longer the game that we had originally envisioned it was just no one liked it we didn't like it and it wasn't working so that's what happened to robocraft they uh were inexperienced developers and panicked robocraft is good times it, it was very good times i i miss a lot of the things that made it fun uh I know they rolled back a chunk of the changes, and I did try it out when they rolled back a bunch of the stuff, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't enough for me. Oh god, the missile came from behind and slammed me. Alright, so we lost a crew quarter here, we probably lost some crew in that as well. Yeah, we lost six people in that explosion. Okay. I think what really killed the game was when they uh, made the obtaining bark parts, the building construction parts, you, when they made them uh, loot box. Yeah. I ended up leaving and uninstalling before the loot boxes happened, but... Once the loot boxes happened, like I was waiting to see, like, oh, maybe they'll change it and they'll make the game more fun again. And then they added loot boxes and then I just stopped keeping track of it. Because usually I'll keep track of games. But once they added loot boxes, I just didn't. It's, um, that's just kind of how that went. But, uh, Robocraft was an amazing time. After they rolled it back, even it's already gone. I mean, even after they rolled it back, I mean, there's, there's, the damage was done, and also a number of the balance changes that originally pushed us, pushed me away, were still in the game. It's like, yeah, they rolled it back, but they didn't. They rolled back the uh, loot boxes, and to be fair, when they rolled back the loot boxes, I went and re-downloaded it and tried it again, and it was okay, but it didn't have the same fun that it was that it had before they did the massive reworks on everything um that that was my problem with it like it was still at that point even after they removed the loot boxes it still felt like call of duty like what was the point of creating your own ship when i could just uh, load up the standard ship and there was no benefit to me making my own it was just use the standard ship don't do something cool. Don't do something fun. Just use the standard one. Point and click. And that's it. Like, there is no... I remember my favorite thing... Not that they needed to keep this. I, I do think they actually needed to address the ejection seat as a problem. But my favorite thing was the ejection seats. Because what I could do is I could literally design a ship such that when it would take critical damage, I would have ostensibly a second ship inside of it. So when it was destroyed, I could fly out from the corpse of my previous ship and just jettison away and go reconstruct myself in a repair zone. In a game where there are no respawns. That was fun. And it was always this thing. It's like, okay, well, my opponent's probably going to have a, an ejection pod. So what do I do? I have to have, you know, a lock-on ro rocket launcher. And I'm going to wait for him to eject. I have to, you know, get that critical core shot that makes him punch out. And I'm going to be sitting there waiting for him with a heat seeker. And th there's all kinds of things. It was fun. And it was always this game of, okay, I'm going to bring this build. I'm going to add this addition to counteract this kind of build. I'm going to... Uh, add this additional weaponry just to help out with this or oh no maybe i don't want to go ejections instead i'm going to add a heal beam off of the back of the ship which isn't amazing but when we're alone i can start healing the teammates as opposed to just sitting around waiting for death to come like there's all kinds of things or how about i go build a, a flying space satellite 
that sits up over the base with a railgun and snipes things. And yes, once they notice I'm there, I'm in the sky and they just shoot me down instantly. But, but, it's fun. And worst case scenario, they shoot me down and I've got an ejection seat on that sucker so I can fly back to spawn and wait for the team medic to come heal me and then do it again. It's fun. And then I, when I replayed it, it was like, okay, loot boxes are gone. Now it's just everyone has an SMG on a five second respawn and all you have to do is hold the trigger on the guy for 10 seconds and it blows up and if they manage to escape by waddling away then then they just fully regenerate after 10 seconds just themselves it's like the whole teammate interactive thing it's gone the whole build variety it's gone it's like you just select what weapon you want on your on your ship and that's just it it's like, well, well, there goes the excitement. There goes all the joy I had for the game. Then Cosmeteer came around, and now we're here. The shop definitely added a cookie cutter aspect. I don't mind the idea of a cookie cutter aspect. Like, take Mech Warrior for example. Mech Warrior is a great example, where you have a giant shop with hundreds of configurations. But at no point do you say, oh, this configuration is the end-all, be-all. Everything is a trade-off. It's not just, I'm the SMG guy, I'm the medium-range rifle guy, I'm the sniper guy, I'm the bomber guy. It's, no, it's, what do you want? How do you want to adjust it? How do you make it feel yours? That isn't a thing in RoboCraft anymore. It's just sad. It made me feel very sad. You like doing Mega versus Mega, but you think Mega versus T10s was a mistake. My T10s very weird. Yeah, the uh, the T10 combat thing that was largely uh, not well received. Which is fine. Not everything has to be, but that was at least cool. I liked it. I played it a couple times, and then decided I didn't really like it. But it was cool, and I didn't mind it existing. Like, it's not like, oh no, this exists, now I feel bad. No, it was, it's, it was fine, it just wasn't amazing. It wasn't good, it just wasn't bad. When they made it so you regen when not in combat, that definitely made the trade-offs less drastic. Downsides wouldn't cripple you so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what really probably... I shouldn't. I prob. I I shouldn't make firm statements on the matter because I just. Oh, I, what, what, Jesus, what am I doing here? Uh, because I I haven't looked into it. It's been too long. But when I discovered that there was regen, I was like, "What's the purpose of medics now? What's the purpose of teamworks? Where's all those shield ores and medical beams and all the fun things that?" made the game you know interactive and cooperative with the team as opposed to just running around like where are the team synergies once the uh once the automatic constant regeneration like quick regeneration came in like it's just not there anymore The joy, the soul of the game, it was gone. And I am i appreciate that the developers realized that at some point. They realized that, well, the game lost its identity. And once the identity was gone, there was just no coming back. They would have to rebuild the game. Like, as they fundamentally rebuild the game to give it an identity again. You've always been a big tanky player, and prior to the uh, the regen, you always had to think about how the how it would work once you uh, had half your ship blown apart. Yes, you always had to think about. All right, you have these kind of like almost onion-like layers. It's like okay, if one leg gets blown off, can I still walk? Can I still move? If you know my shoulder gets blown off, does it take two arms with it? Like what? <laughs> there were so many things, and now it, uh, once the regen came in. 
it's like, okay, well, once the, you lose a leg, you fall over, you wait 10 seconds, and then you get back up again. It's like, okay, well, there goes a chunk of the design and philosophy of things. Admittedly, it would make ejection seats stupidly powerful if they were still allowed. Because uh, imagine if you just ejected, you just wait 10 seconds and your ship, on your, uh, your uh, vessel, your character just fully regenerates from a chair. <laughs> uh, I, I, I do genuinely miss the game. I, I really do. It was a good game. Like it was, it was a genuinely good game. You can possibly see a small ship with cannons. You mean, how about a small ship with a railgun, like any of these? Uh, we have a medium rail. We do a light rail. It's so pretty. Look, it's tiny. It's about as big as my laser ship, but it's got a spinal railgun. God, what am I doing? <laughs> Ogre-like layers. Uh, yeah, there is something to say about that because it, a lot of... Oh, God, I misclicked. This is what I kept staying on 8x. Did it not shoot at me or is it just miss? I think it missed. It missed entirely. Oh, no, it did shoot at me. It's just got missiles. Oh, God, this might hit some crew. This one's big and terrifying. Alright. It, it hit the armored components. We're fine. Uh, we're definitely getting in on here because I don't want this thing to retreat. We want to exterminate. And my shields can probably take it. They're having a hard time, but we've got good shield regen. Alright. It's replacing its missile launchers. Um, we are not... Here, let me rotate here. Let's rotate this way here, get a little closer. There we go. Oh, God. Should have seen that one coming. That took out a thruster. Uh, let's just dig through to the to the cockpit here. We'll rotate to the side, keep the missile on the shields. And slide back. This is fine. This is fine. Ooh. We're okay. It's getting a little close to the enemies here, the other group, and that concerns me greatly. That's a good hit. We hit the ammo serves. Alright. We are targeting this guy right here. Hopefully before... It shuts all of our, all of our weaponry down. It's got one of us, one of our weapons shut down already. We've already expended our capacitors. So we're not going to be a high rate of fire anyways. And solid hit. Okay. How's this guy looking? It looks like it's out of ammo because we've blown up its ammo reserves. Big shock. Okay. Let's get in a little closer. Ideally, we keep it engaged here because our shield regen is enough that we can take the hits. And I would prefer it not to try to call for friends, which it seems to be doing right now. So I want to chase it and not let it escape. One more hit. There we go. Oh, it's not dead. Oh, what oh I didn't hit the... Uh, okay. This is fine. 
Trust is easily lost and difficult to regain. Remember Planet Side Redacted? No, I don't. Uh, let's go top off on heals real quick because I want to. Okay. Right, let's bring you over here. Hello there, Klongo. Welcome in. <sighs> you like spacey game? A spacey game is good. There's a small team trying to revive old Robocraft. Because they don't actually own the title, it can never really be public. And every once in a while, Free Jam teases their Robocraft 2 remake by various names, but never anything concrete. The, um... I, I would be interested, because I think the developers, like, as much as trust is easily lost... I think the way they've been talking, like, it was an actual learning experience for them. And I, it is, isn't exactly common for game dev studios to have a super successful first game. And Robocraft was actually pretty successful, especially for a first game. It was mistakes after they met, after the initial success that caused it to die faster than you would expect a regular game to expire like I die faster than the expected life cycle of a game that was as popular as robocraft so i think they could i think if free gem were to actually try to make a number two i think they could do it and i think they could do it pretty well like they have the experience at this point to know what went wrong so i I, I would be curious to see how that would work out for them. But they certainly they certainly have a good idea that was never fully realized due to um, their own decisions. So as, as much as as much as trust is easily lost, I I think I would trust Free Jam more than most if they were going to make a Robocraft too. Did they add regen before they changed it so you died if you got under thirty percent timeline? Is fuzzy. I genuinely don't remember. I don't think I was I wasn't there when they added regen, so I. I don't know when they added regen. I also wasn't there when they removed the when they removed the chair. No missile. It's coming for me. Got it. You do really hope Free Jam gives it another crack. To this day, you think it's the game that has the highest, most hours spent in that garage. That was a good game. It was like it was inspired. It was cool. It was different. It was new. And it was actually exciting with deep mechanics and meaningful. Like, it was, it was a good game. And sure, it wasn't perfect, but... Oh, I've turned around. That was a mistake. All right, um, what's going on here? This is dead. It's just the base shooting me, okay. Uh, let's get repaired up. You never did have the patience for full try forcing though. Oh God. Ah, uh, you know, some things didn't need to exist. I think that was one of them. Uh, it was certain Robocraft was certainly not a perfect game. That's uh, that's for sure. It it did need some love. It did need some help. Just um, the help they gave it removed its identity and most of its meaning as a game, which was not you know ideal.
All right. Z. Okay. How much damage we have? Eh. We're fine. Do -do -do. How did I hear about Star Sector? Uh, how did I hear about... I... It was someone who posted it in my Discord a very, very long time ago. You haven't played in a while, but you still have the Tesla builds in Robocraft with the escape pod core made of a blink plus ghost modules attached with hovers directly attached to, attached to them. Yeah, I remember reinstalling. I was like, oh, the chair is gone. So I put the cosmetic chair back in the, in the uh, injection core. <laughs> not that it uh, not that it did anything, but I guess you could kind of sort of technically make an ejection core. If something like 30% of your mat total mass is in the ejection core, but that's not that's not a reasonable number. That's not a reasonable number at all. Shields hold. Shields are holding. Alright. And now we're back to this, which is apparently the same thing as the other one. So we should just be able to eat it alive. Uh, get close, remove the explodey bits. And then walk it in. <laughs> Spider walkers poking over rigid railguns are always fun too. Yes. I plan to play Titanfall again. Well, Titanfall 1, not really a thing. Uh, Titanfall 2, um... I don't know. Uh, North Star Client is pretty good, actually. Um, so I, but with with the pro problem with North Star Client is that it's it's only the people who actually know how to North Star Client, which is not many, and those who do are incredibly skilled. And while it is fun, I, I, it I just it's quite difficult. Let's put it that way. Kaboom. That was a lot of missiles. Alright. Engage. I'm gonna start working on the Death Star. Well, we're still in System 1. We've had some setbacks that have kept us not moving quickly but we should be able to uh, get out of here in very short term can I just yeah, okay. let's harvest this let's harvest this guy look at the mess we've made everywhere It actually works. It can survive it as, as a T10 as low as 1-2% to 2 life with Blink Ghost Mobility, T9. So last I checked, once you got below, I think it was 25-ish percent health, it considered you dead. Because that was the replacement for the, uh, for the seat. Because instead of having a component that you had to keep alive, instead you just had to not lose a certain percent of your HP. So if you got down to 1% or 2% of your life, you were considered dead because you took too much damage, and for no other reason. That is the last time I checked. I don't know if that's changed. No one enjoys getting wrecked. I don't mind losing. It's The problem I find is that if I'm losing to a point where I do not get to interact with the game meaningfully, then it's like f getting full on stomped, then it just isn't fun and I don't have an opportunity. Like it is neither fun nor do I have an opportunity to learn or grow. So it's, it's not only is it not particularly interactive, but I don't have an opportunity to 
stop that from happening. And the solution to that is usually spend something like 300 hours training and practicing so that I can compete with the guys that have 3,000 hours, which is fine, but that's not a good, that's not a good uh, selling point, you know? And you're talking to a guy that was teaching people how to do slide hopping. So like, I almost up there myself, just not quite. Do you still need repairs? No, you're good. Um, let's start working on this. Thank you. One, two, three, and doors, and make it so, and you now transfer back to here. Thank you. And I can't abandon while there's no one here, which is awkward. I don't want it anymore. Okay. Um, that's unfortunate. So we transfer to here. And then we do abandon ship. Go ahead and fly back. Thank you. Excellent. Shoot it. Friendly fire is disabled. There is no friendly fire. Module escape pods work 50% of the time, every time you use them for years. Yeah, that, as I was saying, there's probably a way to do it. It's just, uh, I'm not familiar with the mechanics enough at this point. Okay, so we'll add this. Um, there's not really that much here. Okay, so we're about about good to go, almost. Looking at the Twitter, it seems they're still working Robocraft 2, so there's hope. That'd be interesting. Had a trailer th trailer three weeks ago. Okay, that's very interesting to me. Like, actually, though. All right, so we should have all of the things here. We should, should have a decent amount of money so we can get hyperspace going and move on. Question then is... How much... Oh, I picked up ammo. It's only 400. It's fine. I will keep the hyperspace fuel for now. Everything is on fire. Everything is always on fire. I was playing this game before, but got confused on where I was on the map. <laughs> it turns out I was lost in space. Why are you like this? I mean, can we get some love and chat for Eden Cheeto coming with the Everything is on fire. To give it those sweet, tasty puns. How are you doing tonight? I, I always enjoy it. This is one of the things that's... <laughs> I was talking to my dad last week because we were... Um, over the holidays, we did... We actually went out to the firing range on last Saturday. Saturday? Was it Friday? Saturday. Last Saturday. And... Um, we're just chatting over there. He, he he loves it when you guys come in with the puns. He totally doesn't steal them and use them on me. Is oh god, why? It's it, I I love it. It's it's a good time all around. It it really is a good time all around. Okay, so we have hyperdrive here. This guy needs a rework, like just overall rework. So. I want rail guns. 
I think... I think we start working on spinal railgun. Or dual railgun. I don't think we do railgun yet. I think we stick with lasers for now. Uh, so in that regard... Let's do something big, thick, and chunky. Alright, so... Medium reactor. Do I want a second medium reactor? I don't know. You might want a second medium reactor. And then do... This, 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 nope, 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 wrong, why, <clears throat> okay, is that gonna be enough, might need to do this, get the clearance, I think that's got the clearance we need. Ah, that's why. Okay, here we go. These are not symmetrical. I forget. Does he think he's punny when he tells them to you? Yes, yes he does. It's an experience. Um... This is not going to work. Like, at all. This... is not good. Okay, we're redoing this. One medium reactor. How about I do two of these? Like so. Followed by two of these. Like... So... One of these here. in space. Um, I can work with this, I suppose. If you, if Robocraft 2 ever comes out, do you think I'll do videos on it? Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Hmm. Hopefully you can get reach hyperspace for the sheer recoil of all the guns. Get that's that's the kind of ship design that I am into. Like, give me more of that, please. I'm all about that. I sit here and stare at this until I find something I like. I'm not into this already. Like, I just can, can you tell? Is it that obvious? Yes. Let's see. I need. Did we get the big thrusters? didn't give me thrusters 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 thruster thrust thrust yeah all right uh, so this is an increase in firepower let's look at us through shields pretty reliably um Mm. 
this should be enough power. I can actually slide this guy up here. And I can add this here. We have a direct connection, easy connections there. This would be quite difficult to, uh... Mm. Have to slide... That would be an uneven amount of sliding out, wouldn't it? It would be. But it would give me so much more room. I can tank, I can, I can pay the repair costs, it's just a blade of armor. Probably want to add more of it then though, so we'll have internal shields effectively. Uh, these will be exposed, which isn't ideal, but it is what we will work with. Can I add, oh that's going to be a mistake, that's definitely going to be a mistake. Okay, so... thrusters to maximum. Okay. And... Is this worth it? It's big thrusters. Can I purge this? Ooh. Technically, yes. So this is basically going to be the same ship, but th and thickened, which is fine. I've got more space here now, which I can use for these. Kind of. Um. Okay. I definitely need more crew here now. We can put the crew quarters back here for these two. Crew for these. Oh, that's awkward. I can't make that the same. I don't need to if I do this. However, I do need a hyperdrive, which is going to be awkward to put that in here. So I put this guy here, I'm going to need hyperdrive storage. Which doesn't really fit places now, does it? Okay. Here, let me add a section back here. This need I need storage as well as do I need storage I don't really I really don't because I only need to jump once I can like actually replace the drive probably don't want to replace the drive but I can replace the drive so I don't need storage and in terms of crew this is fine oh I'll turn this off there we go we have back row here. So do. All right.
Okay. This is fine too. Everything has a door. We are not particularly well armored. Also not exactly fast. Which may become a problem. Because we're not super high in the DPS. But um, I can add all kinds of goodies here, can't I? Uh, we are absolutely going with the frontal pillar because metal is cheap and uh, we're going to be abusing that. These things will explode every time very quickly, but, but, they're cheap, so that's fine. Also kind of sort of help versus missiles of the varying kinds. Um, I do need to be careful here because we don't want to get in the way of the firing lines. And I think we just add these here. And there we go. Beautiful. We will not be able to move like at all. <laughs> that's so much thickness, but that's fine. Um, here, let me add this here, like so. Okay, do the same thing over here. What am I looking at here? Why is this not working in my brain? Because I need this. Followed by this. There we go. There. Okay. All right. Uh, let me add a little bit here as well back here. I think we just want structure. She thick? Oh lord, she's so thick. We add the spiky bits. Okay. 
we are very tanky. Uh, we don't deal a whole lot of damage. We don't go very fast. Uh, but we're tanky. That's what matters. There is no... No way of getting in and out of the vessel right now. Uh, let's fix that. First, let's add our fire extinguishers here. Okay. Now I need a way in and out of the ship, which I think everything is, on fire. Everything is always on fire. Error. I heard there's a rare and powerful resource oh, for Lord. enemy ships called S O L A R I T E. You must collect it for me to research. Hey there, Derp Woodington. Welcome in. How you doing tonight? Point defense. We have plenty of points. All right, you go here. Look at how pointy we are. Um, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, now. Oh, wow, these kept, okay. Um, do I care about the uptime on these? Probably. Why are you like this? Stop it. Stop it. Collect. Thank you. Okay, so... Not the greatest run, but it's close to power. That's what makes the biggest difference. What else am I looking at here? No, Hyperium access. It's fine. Okay. I think we're just fine here. Uh, for my own curiosity's sake, how fast do you go? Whopping 42. Okay, so we are chugging along here. Alright, that's, that's fine. We got it, we got it. Let's get you filled up. Thank you. Uh, you are not filled up, actually. Alrighty, have a good one, a really random nerd. Welcome. Have a good night, sleep well. I'll see you next time. We still have plenty of metals and such. Uh, I could continually expand this. What's the rotation rate on this? Do you have gunners set for the uh, disruptors? No. No, I do not. Although I could. I explicitly designed it with this one odd bed out uh, so that you will handle this. Uh, so we just need to adjust this. Edit roll. Gunners, job priority. Disruptor. There we go. There it is. So everyone else should simply supply. Okay. I probably am also going to want to put a bed like here-ish. Whose sole purpose is to do shield generator runs. But that that that's going to be a later issue. Okay. Now, is there anything I want to adjust here? I think we go to the next system. It even kept the racing stripes. It's so pretty. All right. Let's go harvest this real quick. Just to check to see if there's anything else here. We are faster than the Curio, so that's good. This is going to be bad. Like, if missiles make it in here, which they will, uh, because that's like peak missile territory, that's going to get bad. 
That's going to get very bad. Um, yikes. Wow. Even flying diagonally, we are matching the speed of the Curio. Matching it perfectly, actually. Hello there, layman. Welcome in. More crew. Don't need it. Uh, the Curio doesn't really need it um, as much as it's, it would be nice to have. I'm more interested in getting to the next system and procuring enough money to afford proper weaponry. Oh lord, there's so much here. Here, let's do... this. We can expand. Did we pick up... We didn't pick up moving floors. Oops. That's a mistake. Alright. Collect goodies. We will drop them off. Oh god. What have I what have I done? We're picking up ammo. Oh no. Okay. We're picking up only ammo and not even HE missile parts. Which is the worst. It's the worst timeline. Uh, it looks like we've picked up all the extra... Okay, so we've fully harvested this base. Let's go uh, over here, because that's closest to out. I, do I don't... Like, I really don't need more basic metal. Like, steel, don't need it. Curio now down to 27.3 MS. Hello there, Crusader. Welcome in. How you doing as we fly... Curio matching his speed perfectly. Excellent, yes. <sighs> yeah, this is... I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust this guy here. We have the opportunity. And Curio is like ultralisks. Desperately needs to go on a diet. Alright. Before we sell anything off, let's start working on these thrusters. One, two. Uh, we put crew up here. Okay. We do these thrusters here. And we do... I can just do this here, right? Like, why am I pointing them inwards? Don't really need to turn that much, do we? Prefer to go faster, 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 faster. And I guess maybe a little extra turn here. Because I can. Okay. There we go. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay.
Now we have plenty of extra opportunities here. Uh, let's communicate with Bisk. Let us pick up movable walkways. Large reactors. I think... Yeah, that's, we can't get more crew anyways. Uh, let's start selling this off. Sell ammunitions. It's all of it. A whopping 1,000 monies. Uh, let's keep a couple hundred of these. Steel. Just for basic repairs. We're going to go collecting a whole bunch. We know where more is in case we need it. Sell so this. Okay. How much for engine room to double thrust? Something like a hundred thousand monies. It's kind of expensive. Probably not even doable right now in this system without going mining. Or doing massive shopping stuff. I'm just uh, not super into right now. All right, we have much more space to work with now. Sweet. Okay, so this guy should be faster. Our laser frigate still going to be slow. We ask about the channel name. Uh, yeah, actually, that one's a fairly mundane story that isn't particularly exciting. That it was cheap. Nope. Uh, let's see. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for this guy. Alright, so we go to here. Plot course. Alright. Let's go. One million dollars. Oh, wow, Curio's at the 73 speed? Who hired you to pilot? Curio is going fast now. Uh, channel name. Uh, so, when I was quite young, uh, like when Counter Strike Source was first released, kind of young, I made it a point because I'm particularly competitive to um, to get good at the video game, and I would spend all of my time practicing. No, that's not true. I'd spend a lot of time practicing because I had a. That's just what I like doing. I like getting good. At games. I would spend hours just practicing the game. <clears throat> what ended up happening was whenever I went onto a server, be it Counter Strike, Day of Defeat, Team Fortress, Team Fortress 2, whatever game it was, got a lot of people not happy with me. Uh, so my solution to the problem was I just changed my name every time I log in. And because me being me, I had to have a pattern to it. So my solution was pick insert word in the just pick a word out of the uh, Latin dictionary, and that was my name for the day. That's just that's what it was. That's that was that's my that's the origin of my name. At some point in time, um, I at some point in time I uh, stopped wanting to have a new name every time. So I just had other things to do with my life. And I decided, hey, let me just log in. Let me have an actual gamer tag for once instead of like a recognizable name instead of a, just a random random word every time I, random designation every time I log in. And I did. And what did I pick? I picked the name I was most recognized by. Because the reality is as much as I picked a random word every time, uh, sometimes I pick the same word twice. And uh, I would get recognized that way. He's like, oh, you logged into this server. Hey, remember that one guy who came in here and spawn camped with a knife for 20 minutes and then picked up the admin's weapon and then used it against the admin for the next 20 minutes? Using the ammo from the admin player every time he died? It's like, yeah. Got an achievement for that because I used every weapon in the game in one life. It's great fun, but makes people not particularly happy with you. Uh, so I just 
stuck with the name I was most recognized by because apparently I'd used it more than once. And that's that's the gamer tag I stuck with. So we yeah, I was in curses from then on out. Remember when Counter Shake Beta came out in uh ninety six? Oof. I don't. <sighs> so you can actually download Robocraft and make simple robots right now. Just no multiplayer. The alpha test isn't up. You kind of make your own turrets now. Interesting. Alright, let's go test this guy out, yeah? Got a new laser frigate. You hang out. Oh, no, wrong hotkey. There we go. You hang out here. Alright, look at all these objectives to do. So this guy shouldn't have m much more DPS uh, than our previous one. A web for it should be much more survivable. Um, it may not be much more survivable because it is it is slow. But it, it is tankier and is not liable to get cheesed as hard. Not as vulnerable to cheese. but we certainly won't be able to outrun anything. Uh, this does imply that we will have to repair after every uh, every battle, which I'm realizing is going to be a problem because we have no steel reserves at all. Um, ooh. It started as a Half-Life mod. That much I do remember, at least in my, my history lessons. I do remember Counter-Strike started as a uh, Half-Life mod. Then again, what didn't these... Um... Okay. I need you over here. Okay. Just going with one combat ship for the run? Yeah. I know, weird, right? Weird for me, but going with it nonetheless. Okay, so I need on you basic coils, hyper coils, and steel. You disable all steel, coil, hyper coil. It's basic ingredients. We used all the steel in the environment. All right, so let's transfer some from you, just so we don't have to have you literally adjacent to us at all points in time. Uh, you get 120. That's fine. All right, we will lock these. Steel here. Coil here, here, hyper coil here. All right, this should get us a basic level of repair. It won't keep us alive if something goes wrong, but it should keep us going. Is there hockey for resource and crew transfer? Nope, there is not. Be fast. Raise time to raise your APM. How am I doing? I'm doing very well. I had a great day. Did I tell you guys that I'm growing mushrooms? They're gonna be so tasty. Hello. It's tiny. We definitely have zero control about where we engage things right now. And magical. No, not the uh, psychedelic kind, just the flavorful kind.
They're, uh, I actually forget which specific kind of mushrooms are, they are. A uh, gift from my family. Oh, hello. Multiple creatures in here, which could be an issue. Uh, but let's find out if it's an issue or not. After saving. For those who know me, I'm not particularly keen on uh, psychoactives of any kind. A fun guy to know. Oh no. Hey there, Travis. Did you miss Incog Cheeto's pun train? This is. I'm gonna get hit by all three of these at once. This is. This is just what's going to happen. Beefy armor, spiky armor. Oh, the best kind of armor. All right. Uh, let's go. I say like we're not particularly vulnerable to the uh, disruptor right now, so I can just go straight for the cannon. You know what I didn't do? I didn't set you to alternating fire. Does it matter? No. Does it make it better? Not really. But that makes all the difference. Because we can fire twice as fast! Alright. Ever have a player that just became my rival? Like, throughout the years? Oh yeah. That's half the fun of the game. Going onto servers, enjoying players that can actually keep up with you. used to get asked to join the uh, scrim teams, which I did sometimes. Either for like a weekly pickups or something. Usually weekly pickups. Like EGO, we had a great community for that. It was always a good time. <laughs> you fell asleep and missed all the puns. Oh, you know, that sounds like a great way to rewind down your to wind down your Saturday. Hey, that's what we're here for you. I'm not going to be bringing out the, uh... Yeah, I'm so happy we got the, uh... Just a little extra reserve back there. Interestingly enough, uh, many of the times whenever I was on a server, it would be the admins themselves that would become the uh, the rival type characters. Mostly because the admins are genuinely quite capable players most of the time. Uh, because, you know, if you're the kind of player who loves the game to the point where you're willing to be admin for it, you're also the kind of player who plays the game more than just every so often. So, you know, they, they actually get good at the video game. It's always a good time. I remember, uh, I, I have a story from when I was doing the, uh, I was doing IT work and one of my clients, they were a lawyer, <coughs> was talking about his, his video gaming because, you know, he, he played, he played Day of Defeat, uh, Day of Defeat Source specifically. I was like, oh, I play that game. And, uh. We were talking about, he was just talking about it because he was like, yeah, he's a, that he was an admin for a, for the server. And I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> and uh, he was just talking about it. And apparently I pissed the guy off because I was playing on the server. And this was, this was after I stuck with the name and curses. No, 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 no. This was before I stuck with the name and curses. I had logged onto his server on the same name two times in a row. And this dude was not happy about it. Because I was under a different moniker, non and curses moniker at the time. And, um, oh man. He got, he was venting to me, the IT guy, about getting knifed in the video game. 
uh, <clears throat> in a completely disrespectful manner, to be fair. Not knowing I was the one on the other side of the controller. Which was funny and a little awkward. <laughs> <laughs> when I when he eventually asked for my in-game name <laughs> That was that was a that was a great one. Uh, it was a good time. It was a good time It was all fun and games. He was not happy <laughs> oh, it, was just, it was a great story, you know, it was a good time. It was a good time all around. I still, I still remember it because the guy had set himself up with an MG42, and um, I was charging directly at him because I had ran out of ammo, and in my mind, I had been like, I'm out of ammo, I'm in the open, I'm dead, I'm just going to die, this is how it ends, I might as well go out charging the knife, just like swinging at him with a knife. Not that I was particularly close to him, like I was not in knife range, I was just charging directly at an MG42. This man fully panicked. He had at least most of a magazine still of the MG. And he was shooting at me, but not hitting me. And that is complete, like, of course you know I'm doing the dodge thing, shuffling back and forth. But this is day of defeat here, it's not like, like, this, all weapons are hit scan, like the net code is great. We run a high tick server, so like, we're not we're not talking about any kind of jank here. Man just didn't hit me. Like straight up, he just missed. And the whole time, as I'm charging for toward him, you know, zigzag pattern, this man is screaming over the microphone. Just you could hear the the anger in his voice. As he's saying, I swear to God, if you knife me, you will be the last thing you ever do. And man fully, I got up to him. Man fully put down, just like stood up. I could hear it, open mic. Just stood up, walked away. Because I managed to get behind him with the knife. Because he's planted on the MG. In that game, you have to, you know, once you, once you mount your bipod, it's, it has an animation to get up and put down. So like once once I got behind him, it was like I was it was guaranteed dead. Like there's nothing he could do about it. But this man was screaming at his computer. <laughs> like I stood there for a moment. Like do 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 I actually knife him? Like would it be more disrespectful for me to pull out my sidearm or like pull out my weapon? reload it and then shoot him or do I just knife it and move on I ended up knifing him just because like I, that's I'm like I figured it's less disrespectful to just knife him but my god I was I the sir they were laughing so hard they were laughing so hard the amount of people it was, it was great it was amazing but man <laughs> when I encountered that man in real life I was like ah. Uh, Maybe I shouldn't talk. <laughs> that man sounded like he was gonna burst a vein in his brain. Ugh. I laughed. It was it was such a good time. It was such a good time. <laughs> Knife players are the worst. You only have so many bullets in your pocket. It was, uh, it was a good time. I, uh, <clears throat> I like that game. I, I logged in the other day. Still the same people playing the game. It's, uh, like, it's, it's a good time. Like, it's a good game. What's going on here? I'm getting cannoned. Move this, and then this. I'm concerned because they keep digging straight to the core. Like, you know how I have this big spire that goes out the front? They just keep digging all the way in. Hi, I'm a knife player. I I play this way because I want to feel emotion. Nah, it's... It, in games like Day of Defeat, like, it's, it's, you don't get to choose whether you're a knife player or not. You, it's... You run out of ammo, either you're in melee range or you're not. And 
that's kind of how that works. Knife main is not a thing. <laughs> Chad seems awfully silent. Oh, it is. It is. It is unusually silent. So there's fewer people than in a than in the usual, unusual games like Forts, for example. It is also uh, one thirty U.S. East Coast, so. I doubt it's bugged, it's just fewer humans. And besides, it's an incursus chat room. There's very few chatters in here, it's real lurkers. <clears throat> You're really balancing on the edge of the knife there, Hey, Do you ever play Day of Infamy? I played a bit of Day of Infamy. Day of Infamy was good. And then I did, had life to do, because I was in the middle of engineering school at the time. Um, I should probably re-download it. This Day of Infamy was very, very good. Again, it's going to suffer the problem of most games of that style that I can't justify putting them on the channel, so... That's just the end of that opportunity. Knife main is a thing, at least until the person actually tries it. Hey. Yeah, it's, um, it is what it is. Like, I remember playing Call of Duty 2, uh, Melee, Melee and Call of Duty 2 was a thing, but in games like Day of Defeat, Counter-Strike, it's not. It's, it's a tool, but it isn't a, it isn't a real option in terms of effectiveness. Oh, Lurker's possibly falling asleep because it's 1.30 in the morning. Yes, that's usually how it works out, which is fine. You should have told him never to bring a gun to a knife fight. Oh, unironically, because one of the things... Uh, knifing in Day of Defeat isn't quite like Counter-Strike. Like, mechanically it's the same, but the timings are different. And the timings are very different. And when I say very different, I mean... You can one-shot people. But the power strike to do so is... It takes a long time. You can't just whip it out and start slashing. It's not a spam thing. It's, a, it's very much so a skill shot. It's a... I've brought out the weapon, and now I'm going to, now I'm going to spend time getting the perfect spacing and the perfect timing, and then land the one shot to the head because that's how you do it. But <clears throat> it's quite difficult, and it isn't. Otherwise, it's just it doesn't it just doesn't work outside of that. So it is it is something you have to spend a lot of time doing, and it doesn't. It just doesn't work in many, many scenarios. Like, the guy will just reload or or uh, swap to a different weapon. Or, like, pull out... If they have a sidearm, because not every class does, then they just pull the trigger and it's over. It's just day of defeat. About everything kills you in one bullet. It's just, like, the, every weapon is hit scan, and they all end you in one bullet, so... <laughs> well, most of them. If not close to one bullet, like two bullets. Like, oh, we have an SMG. It's two bullets! Or an auto rifle. That's how, that's how it works there. So you don't really get to be a knife man. It's not like Call of Duty, you can run around quickly and jump on someone out of with very little reaction time. If someone comes at you around the corner with a knife in Day of Defeat, your reaction is just shoot them. Because they have a knife and you have a bullet. <clears throat> Pre-fire the knife. I mean, to some degree, yes. I'm glad you enjoy, Paul. Speaking of which, we should do some bedtime stories. Does anyone have any good bedtime stories they would enjoy narrated? It's so spiky, I like it. I'm liking the spiky ship. That's... Oh jeez, we do not have strafing capabilities. Not really. 
please remove this specifically before it digs through all of us. Um, one problem with the side view here is it pre prevents us, the side weapons, is it really does prevent us from focusing firing on the same target, on the same spot on the target at least. All right, ideally, I get to repair before, all right, the reactor exploded here. Yeah, we're gonna have to fill up some, of, we're gonna have to use some of our reserves here for this, but uh, let's go gather this before. One day you went to sleep, the end. Huh. I'm gonna build the knife out even further to help prevent them digging through. Uh, probably not. Um, it's uh, to have other other problems that need to be solved first. It's it's fine as it is. It's functional. It works. Hey there, Theta. Welcome back. Oh, you got asteroided. He's still alive. Just fire at whatever you can hit. There we go. It's trying to move. There we go. Alright. Detonated here. Did I mark this other one? I did. Good. Sweet. Okay. Curio under attack, but not for long. Because it's at the space station, which is why we leave it there. What's going on here? Get another one of these going. Uh, let's go onto this side because these guys have the tendency to literally chase me across the world. I've noticed. I mean, across the entire system. I'm only seeing one radar contact here, which is concerning to me. All right, it's tiny. There we go. How many times have I exploded since you left? Uh, zero. We're just out here cleaning this sector before some creature comes for us. So we can go off and harvest with the, the, the curio. Huh, yeah, only one creature in here. Okay, let's go. And away we go. We have this over here. Uh, let's go do this, and then we'll come back over here. We should have many monies by the end of this. Because our vessel has bullied just about everything. Yeah, okay, so priority one of these cannons. As much as... Here, let's rotate here a little bit. We should be able to remove that. There we go. Cannons eliminated. Next priority, just digging straight in. There we go. We can focus that fire down. OK. 
Okay. Yes, shoot yourself. Oh no. Go on, keep firing. We don't have a lot of DPS. And at this range, the lasers are not exactly hitting their mark. It was close. It wasn't that close. Waiting for the first missile missile creature to come and slap us in the one spot where we're vulnerable. Alright, so we restocked on basics. Go clear this out. <sighs> what difficulty are we on? Uh, the normal difficulty. The 100% for everything. Here comes the many. We have a toothpick. Fire. It just flies up on us. It does not care. Because it's tiny and we are thick, dummy thick. Go straight for the center. Aim center mass. And where's the kaboom? So many dead ships to capture. Alright, so this creature looked like it was in combat. It's because it was in combat. Oh, it's it's close to exploding already. Alright. And there it is. Alright, massive damage. There we go. You can do it. Target removed. There we go. Fix up. We have so many ships to start get to capture. Okay, I think we've cleared this region decently well. So let's head over here. We'll head back. Turn in these bounties and then we'll have... We'll have the curio come on over and start clearing up the mess we've made. While we clear this out. In fact, let's go start that process. Now, curio is quite quick. Now it's 73.2. Not the fastest... Gets the job done. Right, we haven't lost any crew. Oh my god, we've cleared up so much. Alright. No crew loss, no crew loss. Sweet. Okay, so now we have money. That means... More things. It means many more things. Can I build more storage for Curio? Not at the moment. Don't particularly need to. Um, I 
think we pick up... I think we don't pick anything up. I think Curio has started to blob. Oh, we forgot to add in the, um, the moving pathways. Let's fix that. We have pathway here. And then pathway here. There we go. Like it was just a mobile construction facility. All right. Go here. Clear up this guy. All these once crit oh hello why why are you like this all these once creatures made out of uranium okay there we go absorb absorb this one Need to head over here. Let's see another bounty. I already have a good night, Nexilis. Good luck out there. Oh, hello, Instigator. You are made out of money for me. All right, let's collect this. Can you tell where the combat was coming from? Which direction it's splayed out in? All right. down top off next what is that okay uh, I'll have to come back for this Stationary to mobile. I seem to have angered it. Focus fireplace. Do, 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 do. this. We'll have you move over to here. You vacuum. Gotta clean up the mess we made, you know. Well, There's a lot of little, a lot of little defense platforms here, it would seem. Appreciate how fast Curio is now. We go zoom, zoom. Okay. Go top off. <laughs> Last day you tried sandbox mode for some of the ships that come with the game that were made by players. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some of the player-made ships are crazy in all the right ways. Is there this thing here? What's going on here? Ah, oh, it's over here. And away we go. Boom. 
headshot. No damage. Hello. You would call them planet killers, not ships. Understandable. Some of them certainly have a, an arsenal capable of nuking an entire planet simultaneously. watching Battleship Brawlers on YouTube. It's a bunch of player-made ships competing in PvP. Yeah, it, it is... It is, um... Interesting. It is certainly satisfying... to watch. Excellent. Down here we go. Next. <laughs> the Alexander is horrifying. As it should be. Anyone say max construction size Death Star with two scale weaponry? No. No, please. Uh, there are supposedly like three targets in this area. And I'm con oh, we have multiple targets discovered. You tell my StarCraft senses are tingling because my first reaction to combat is look away from the combat. It is time to eco. What's my intent with this design on later levels? Big. Very big. Okay. Big is a given? Of course it's a given. It's the only correct answer. That's not true. I I, I am usually partial to uh, multiple smaller craft. Mm -hmm. Okay, another one down. I'm a huge fan of the fleet command option. Are we getting adventurous here? Yes, yes we are. It's a fully operational bite. Bite-sized starship is what it is. Okay. Have a good night, Theta. Good luck out there. Okay. That's going to explode in a moment. This here is done. Moving on to the next. Good job. You did it. That was it for this bounty, right? Yeah. Last bounty in the area. Collect stiletto. Harvest them all. Um, yeah, just dig through because we can. Oh, you can do it. There it is. I should finish this quickly. Yes, yes it did. Uh, 
All right, so that is the last bounty in this region. Sweet. Okay, so from this point on, we should have the resources we need. I think the next step is investigate the pirate base, uh, turn it into the next upgrade for our ship, is what it should be. The pirate base will be our next starship, because we can. That is our that is our goal. It's made out of monies and materials mostly. It's mostly just made out of materials. And right, there's a good influx of cash. We have everything we need for further Let's camp out on these. For everything we need for further things. You adapted your starship right there. I mean, it's, it's good strat. It's made out of a many material. Why not use it? All right, pirate base right here. Is this the box? Nope, this one's not the box. We're not seeing any shielding. I've got shielding. I've got plenty of shielding. Got the best kind of shielding. The kind that exists. All right, let's see what's going on before before we do this. I didn't even intend to put the exclamation point on that. I just oh, oh so many beeps. I seem to have consumed that one already. All right. All right. Let's go. Mm. Try hardcore mode or something where you can't reload. Well, there is no Iron Man mode. However, you can enforce Iron Man upon yourself. Which is usually what I do. Because it's just more exciting that way, in my opinion. Uh, let's get closer. Let's not get that close. There we go. Okay. Top off. Here. Should be here. Here. Are you looking? Hey, look, Starship. Collect, please. Next. Alright. Both escorts down. They have to earn the right to take down the shields. Yes, yes, they do. Okay. Small point defense platform. That's another one of these. Okay, we got this. We outrange it, so. Should be pretty easy. Next. That's so terrifying the way that moves. Okay. Alright, so we dig here. Still going. Harvest them all. In fact, the game is actually a lot of fun when you play with uh, like an Iron Mode, Iron Man mode restrictions. 
is it actually forces you to um, recover. And the recovering process, while not easy, is interesting. Took no damage that, because we literally just outranged everything. Excellent. Next. Ooh, this place is a disaster. I love to see it. Alright. Please orbit base. Transfer one crew to base. You... Delete everything. Uh, builds here and here and here with door. Okay. Now you abandon ship. Thank you. Have a lot of freestanding resources there now. And a completely clear environment. Uh, we didn't unclick this. It's been unclicked. Which one of these was the hidden box? Yeah. We may never know. We have so much uranium from all this. This makes me happy. We can turn into a giant ship. I'm excited. Just can't hide it. I don't know what was here, but it wasn't much. Uh, wow, we have we left a mess over here, didn't we? Well, let's try it. Collect everything. Uh, let's start just breaking all this down. There's the box. What's in the box? It's... Oh, wow. Tri-steel and uh, processors. That was nice. I like that a lot. You first play 3 didn't know there's stuff in the boxes. I mean... I assume you blew it up and or harvested it and didn't just ignore it. Which, that's not a good assumption, actually. Ignoring it's a perfectly reasonable answer to the box existing. But if you harvested it, it will automatically do all that. So it's not like... It's, it's kind of hard to miss. Not impossible to miss. Just hard to miss. It's like, even if you didn't know there was stuff in the boxes, you still got the stuff in the box, you know? You're new to this game? Why do I do that to the base? Uh, because using the construction panel to... So, okay, so you see this ship here? It exists... I want to deconstruct it, so I'm going to, because I want to consume all of its resource. Uh, we're running. Are we safe? Okay. All right, we're fine. Everything is fine. Okay, we're going back. Okay, so we see this this vessel here. I want all of its and I want all of its pieces, all of its metal, all of its electronics, everything, and I want it put inside of my ship. So to do that, I'm going to salvage it. And you see how the dudes will go out there, break it down, bring all the components back. But you notice how it takes them time to do that. Uh, the alternative is to literally just build, and then. It, it gets rid of it entirely. Like, oh no, all of that stuff. Like, look at this. Notice how this stuff is disappearing out of my out of my box here. And then when I do this, 
It all goes back in. When you use this build menu to do things, it just teleports stuff around. Like, it just teleports stuff around. Instead of it having to, you know, people walk over there and physically construct it. Which makes the whole process of um, destroying things way faster if I can just teleport it around. Which is quite nice. Alright, so clearly this place is not safe. So we are going to have an escort as we come clean up the rest of this. Can you chain commands? You can chain commands, but you can't chain a collect command. The uh, collect commands is kind of asynchronous. Can you seriously build a projectile accelerator in this game? Yes. And the time it's just when it, using the game isms to salvage faster is just convenient because the amount of time it would take for me to salvage the space with manually have a person go to every single block and mine it it's just it's just too long is what it is it's way too long so like i can i can chain commands around but if i were to chain a gather command the unit would launch the gatherers and then continue the move command because gathering is asynchronous from the uh, from everything else. Like I see how I'm still see how the gathering is happening, and we're still moving around. So that's a problem. If I were to come over here, then gather, and then try to leave, my ship would just leave, and then all of my harvesters would be out in space, eventually dying from you know asphyxiation. Yeah, 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 we got it. All right. No exploring. We're keeping the escort around. Oh, wait, gather. Why oh, you got to hit me with that JavaScript? Yeah, there is no wait command and such. Uh, missiles. All right, so these are... This is the potentially the problem ship here. Because uh, these missiles, if you notice, are coming at an oblique angle. And we'll see if they slam into the shields. That barely hit the shields. That hit the edge of the shield. If that had missed the shield and gone into this gap, we would have had a problem. The shield's down. Oh, shields are down. Why are they down? Does he have a disruptor? No, just double cannon doing a lot of damage. Okay. Missile, anti-missile armor doing good damage, doing good work with the anti-missile. Ah. <sighs> He struck the last pixel of the shield, something like that. Alright. Um, let's just dig through the center, I think. As much as it's painful. It's going to be faster once we hit the ammunition. You know, if we can hit the same spot twice. I mean, we're hitting the same spot twice, just not the spot I would prefer to hit. Alright. Ammunition went, which means we should have clean, clean shots to everything else. You still got a missile on the rack ready to fire. Okay. And... There we go. Look at the missile so it slams into our front, please. Thank you. And it's going sideways nonsense. 
All right. All right, sweet. So notice how there was a bunch of stuff near us, and it's not anymore because it turned into our we construct we reconstructed the front not from our storage but from the uh, loose material out in space. Which is how that works. Also lets us harvest faster. Like it's just generally better to. What is this? It's an asteroid. Okay. It's just generally better to use the build menu. Or it's just generally faster to use the build menu for everything. But. <laughs> do you wish after the battles it would highlight the materials that have been blown out of your ship? That would be convenient. I don't think it would be necessary. You can always backtrack. The line is good enough, I think, for that. Like, as much as it's annoying, it isn't. I already cleaned this one up. It's not, like, a major deal. Obviously, losing materials is a major deal, but you know where they are because you have the line of where you wear the history. There goes. Is that it? Oh. Okay. But it man's today was fun. Only 500 more driver assists. Oh, ho, ho. That's so, that still sounds like a lot. I remember doing my uh, mossy Araxes. It's like, oh, only 300 more kills. Then you get 500 kills and you still only need 200 kills. I imagine driver's, driver assist doesn't probably doesn't have that problem. Harvests. Hmm. Okay. Cosmids here is different from you, remember? Is it? <sighs> well, hey, I'm glad you enjoyed, Dylan. That's what we're here for. Enjoying time. Happy time. Relaxing time. That's what you call synchronous gathering. We are creating material and harvesting material at the same time. All right. We good? All right, let's go. Driver assist is a pain because you have to find someone competent. You also need people to play. It's usually solo. Understandable. Planet, planet side. The game where there's thousands of players online at any time. But everyone wants to do their own thing. Alright. Pick a pirate base. We unlocked a few new humans for that. Expedite this process. Um, we're fine here. I do want to keep these material on on me for reasons uh, sell these two okay all right let us head on over to here and restart the collection process did you see the dump file the 42 is playing around with for the forts game objects? Some 55,000 line Lua file of random tables and B64 encoded functions. Great fun. Yeah, I've... I was, um... I looked into that at one point. So I was looking into it myself because I was... Specifically when I was looking into the, um, the AI stuff, I was like, alright, if I want to do AI and I need to, I'm going to need to replace... The Fort's AI. I saw the Lua file there, and I'm like, two things. One, this is a, this is totally, totally encoded, like encrypted, and I don't, I don't want to deal with that. Two, oh my god, that's just a ridiculously thick file, and I also don't want to deal with that. It's like, you know, if we can find other ways of doing the AI, and that we never did. Okay. 
There is a lot here to harvest. So I want to harvest the external bits so I can drag it all to the center so I have, have it to play with. And then we should have the material here to invest in another in another uh, starship. And if we don't, we can hoist it all back to the starship, uh, to the starbase, and utilize our funds, which we'll probably end up doing anyways. Oh, we're out of storage space. Okay. I want to fix that problem. I just realized... Uh, these three here were never connected. Like, these three on the sides, they were just straight and never connected. Okay. Why not repair the starbase? Use it as a platform for the new ship. Because uh, I'm generally not interested in starbase shaped things. Um, I find it less optimal than not. Uh, so I'm going to do this. I can actually just harvest it all. Bring it back to the. Uh, bring it back to the main. Because uh, I think we've. Yeah, with the additional bits here, there should be nothing but ammo. This particular starbase layout doesn't have much in the way of materials. Which is uh, not ideal. Let me... It's just ammo. I can't be bothered, I'm sorry. Okay. Alright, back to the station we go. Could collect more here. We could have so much metal. Look at it all. All the metal just ripe for the taking. Mm -hmm. I appreciate how satisfying it is to watch this happen. I, I really do. As we uh, consume the entire thing. The swarm consumes? Yes. Yes, it does. This is what a uh, mining laser is for. Breaking this apart in a much uh, faster method. I wish there was a way to just detonate ammo in space for big, pretty explosions. Can you imagine? That does actually seem like the thing that this game would do. Just because they can and for no other reason. I mean, it's fine by me. Uh, okay, so it actually, we have fleshed out this entire thing, kind of. I'm going to drag more here. There we go. Should we grab it all? Excellent. As we eat the entire ship and we put it in the storage bays. Collect, please. Oh gosh, there's still more here. Can the crew from the other ship assist? Uh, not directly. Um, I can't just tell them to gather and they won't put it into this ship. Um, I can order them to move over to this ship, like transfer crew. And then they will gather appropriately. But 
Not before then. All right, so you know what that means. We have... How much? We have... 5,000 steel. Right, let me sell off. A bunch of this stuff. So we're not going to be using... This. Or any of these unrefined components. There we go. Alright, so we have a huge amount of stuff, and this means we can make a giant ship! Because giant ship is a good time. We can replace the laser frigate. Uh, let's save this design. Alright, so we have this guy served as well, but it's time... It's time to replace him. You know what that means? Boop. So now we have the world to do. The world is our oyster. We have more. <laughs> we have a backlog of monies, as well as, as well as a uh, hefty chunk of material that we can just use, which is amazing. And the question is now. How to build the biggest particle accelerator. Projectile accelerator? Projectile accelerator. That's the appropriate word. Appropriate phrasing. And, uh... Huh. Okay. Time for Mongo the Starship, so now I can learn with the weapons platform of choice. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. It is so pretty. Better paint a giant red X on the front. Yes. Yes. Yes, we will. Because I can. Because it makes, as you know, red stripes make everything go faster. That's, uh... <laughs> oh, no. What have we done, chat? Why? Why? It's already wider than most ships. And it isn't. It's not even as thick as the Curio. We've seen the Curio is like the size of an engine block of some of the, some of like the last ship we had, or, you know, previous run. You need so many shields. That's true. That's true. We could do... I'm kidding. Th this is indefensible is what this is. Like, this is entirely indefensible. Like, I don't even... Don't even know how to begin to defend this. Um... Usually would do something like this just to keep it somewhat alive, but like
this is not what you want your rails to look like. Because this, this can help keep it alive a little bit. But let's be real here. I'm going to need... Like this is just... It's just open in front is what it is. We need something like this with one of these. Go in here. Something like this. Just to have a pretend chance of holding it off where we have this guy here. And then something like this. Just to keep it alive. Even this is not good. Um, there's no way. Like, this is not. This is not a thing. Not in this particular layout. I don't. I was doing this as a meme just because it was it's fun to throw down this many things, but this is not. I don't think I could defend this if I wanted to. Like this is this is an indefensible layout. I, I mean, like literally, indef it's not defendable. It cannot be defended, which is fine, because this is not what it's going to look like. But it's funny, and if you guys want to figure out what it looks like. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, because remember, it's free on YouTube and the follow button on Twitch, because that is going to be it for me today. If you guys hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you guys will get notifications the next time we go live, so you too can see how the giant railgun projectile accelerator comes out. But for now, have a good night, everyone. I'll see you guys later.